Hello YouTube! Welcome to Pokemon Dungeons and Dragons. Our game takes place in the scenic and wild Laris region, home to some of the world's fiercest professional battlers, as well as some of the most caring trainers. Whether it be for fun, sport or fame, battles are abundant here in the Laris region, and the League Challenge is available to anyone brave enough to battle all eight Pokemon gyms in the region. Let's meet our players and heroes. Tia, playing as Phoebe Wilhelm with her Sweenub Nubster and Centret William. Joel, playing as Milo Rooter with his Murkrow Monty and Ladybug Violet. Jordan, playing as CJ with his Totodile Crash. Kelsey, playing as Tegan McKinley with her Rock Ruff Koa. And Ben, playing as Bentley Woods with his Magby Mortar. With Phoebe incapacitated, the remaining heroes huddle together, facing the horde of hungry spiders. Your party members. Oh, fantastic. For us? Our people? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, great. That's great. Oh, that's, that's, that's real great. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, natural one. <laughs> natural God. one. What was it? One, two, three? Like, yeah. I'm like asleep. I can't roll. JK. So go ahead and put Nubster on top of Phoebe. Like on top? Like literally? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nubster will be going first. Oh, oh snap. Nubster's not fucking around! Defend! <laughs> so Joel, go ahead and roll an ice shard attack for Nubster on the nearest spider. So it's a 17 to hit. 17 will hit. Okay, I'll just roll mine. So four nice. cold damage. Nice. Four points of cold damage. And we'll say that's the Orionos, because that's the closest and it just struck Phoebe. As we lead off our fight, uh, with Phoebe being downed, you hear the distinct sound of Pokeballs opening. And Nubster appears right on top of the wound and fires off a quick ice shard right into the side of the Orionos, who goes... <laughs> And starts hissing and getting furious as a little icicle just phew, right to the side. Does I'm Nubster want to move? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think he would either. Yeah. It is now. Defender. Defender. Yeah. It's now the Orionos' turn. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. CJ, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Eighteen. Okay. As the Ariados is sort of hissing and, and looking very furious, um, it locks eyes with you, and you, you're like, oh god, and you kind of just tumble out of the way as a web just out towards your face, but you just duck out of the way, Tegan. It sort of like skims by your arm. And you're like, fuck oh, oh, as it just shoots through, and the Ariados just just venom dripping down its fangs. Oh god, it leaps forward. Right in front of the three of you. Oh my god. Does Jordan move off to the side since he dodged? Um, no, because it's just for flavor. Okay. He's still sort of there. He yeah. just sort of dodges the web. Gotcha. Just, yeah. Matrix. Matrix did. Ah. You guys then hear, <laughs> as William runs out of the tent. William. So go ahead and put William on the map, right next yeah. to Phoebe as well. What does William want to do? I mean, I love how they're just am like, I William? You're William. Uh, Try to embody I am a kleptomaniac with ADHD. <laughs> what does he want to do? Uh, Steal his legs. I think initially William comes out and he looks around for stuff to take. <laughs> um, but then he right. probably sees the situation mm -hmm. and uh, Fair points. looks in his bag of tricks for something he maybe doesn't care about but might help the situation. What, what does Sand Attack do? Uh, it targets it targets in a ten foot cone up to make a dexterity save or be blinded for a turn. Maybe it should do that. That'd be a good idea. Throw sand into the eyes of the beast spider that's just in front of the three of you guys, ready to lay ways. <laughs> so he'll say to attack this guy. Okay, so that spinner act needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Yes. Yep. That is an eleven. Yep, that's that'll do it. That's good. Okay. So as as William comes out. Looking in his little hat, finding nothing particularly shiny at the moment, just reaches down, grabs his tail, and 
bats an array of sand towards this spinnerack, who just sort of just sort of shields its eyes. The attack seeming to have no effect. Does William want to move? No. Okay. It is now two of the spinnerack's turns. Oh god. <laughs> the two nearest that rock are gonna move their full speed towards the squad. Jesus. Oh my. How much is the full speed like just all the way? Thirty feet. More so, than enough to get there. Fantastic. What is this? Is this a foot? Everything is five feet. Okay. Every square. So pretty bad. Milo, mm-hmm. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh, bro. Four. Bro. Okay. As the first of the smaller green spiders sort of scuttles its way towards you, you hear a... <laughs> as an array of string sort of envelops your eyes. Mm-hmm. You are currently blinded. Cool. On brand. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> this is not going well, guys. Oh, man. Just wait till the you sun know. comes up. <laughs> the second one... Is also coming at you, Mila. Oh God! Okay. <laughs> they, that is a twenty-one to hit you. I don't even know what my AC is, but I'm gonna assume that that's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's a safe bet. You take two points of piercing damage. Oh, as okay. two little fangs sink into your. Uh, oh, your I don't know how much HP I have. You are this still is... up. The second oh, I don't spin know. I just know that I took mm-hmm. damage. Okay. You just know that you've taken two cool. damage. You are still up. All right. Oh my God. <sighs> CJ. <sighs> It is your go. Okay. Um, our Pokemon are out, aren't they? I mean, they've got to be around because mine's not in. Mm-hmm. Like he could well, be off. At least send things. them out. Send them out if you haven't. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they killed the big one. The rest run away. I'm here. That's a good, good logic. I think. Okay, so I go first. And if it's not at least you or Crash, it's, it's up to you. Yeah. You can I'm you can give first, Crash a battle plan. You can kind of just time, let Crash do his own thing. Uh, Crash is going to be at that point. I'm not worried about bird. Um, <laughs> I, however, I'm going to start screaming as loud as I can for Ben to wake the fuck up. <laughs> so can I wake up now? You can wake up. All right. So Bentley ben needs Bentley to wakes fucking up, get here. Cold now. sweat again, and, and Bentley will roll initiative. Okay. Bentley. Eighteen. Eighteen. How many things am I allowed to do? I, I'm gonna freaking also, while I'm screaming, go into my backpack and try to grab some of those rocks that I have. Okay. Yeah, you grab a rock. <laughs> you have your backpack again? Yeah. So you can wanna... CJ and Crash attack at the same time? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this. I like yeah. this strategy. So you've got the rocks coming through. So you've got rocks in your backpack. No doubt. Um, Crash is gonna try and bite the Aridos. Okay. Go on. You know what you can Oh god, what is that? It's cocked. It's, it's, yeah, it's cocked too. Yeah, okay. Good. That's not better. It's worse. Ten. Ten does Ten. not hit Ariados. Yeah, of course it doesn't. As Crash goes to snap and bite out, the Ariados just sort of lifts its leg and rears up for a strike. Um, fantastic. Some sort of thing. Some sort of maggot. Uh, can I, while he's doing this, can I throw a rock? You can. Okay. I'm Go ahead and roll a d20 a and add uh, your dexterity. Ariados. Add that dex, boy. I got him for Good. sure. 19. Yeah, that'll that'll hit for sure. Go ahead and roll a d6 damage. 20. For your let's go, rock. CJ. Let's go. Six. six. Let's, let's go, CJ. Go. Let's hit. go. That's a beefy rock. Okay. As you throw the rock, there's this sickening, like, <laughs> into its head. And you watch, you sort of leave, like, a gash under one of its eyes. <clears throat> and it just looks at you with the most hateful glare. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I'm terrified, <laughs> but also yeah. It is now the final spinner turn. Oh god, this one, mm-hmm. the one that's by Bentley. Okay, Bentley, as you're sort of stirring into consciousness, you hear it up uh, to the side of your tent. There's two fangs out of the darkness. That's a sixteen to hit you. Oh god, I imagine it would. You take two points of piercing damage. Of course. As two little fangs sink right into your calf. Ow. As you're just waking up. That's a I got a jolly voice. Wake up call. Tegan and Mila. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, is there a fire still going on? No. Right, we're, no. That no is. No fire that's locked on out. Yeah, yeah you guys put it out to, to not draw out. attention to yourselves. Yeah, Alright. Well, that makes me a little angry. Um, I'm gonna send um, out Violet. Yeah. Okay. How, like, can I 
Can Koa you can put Koa anywhere within 30 feet. To, like, at yeah. least try and protect mm-hmm. Phoebe fair. and yeah. us in between the two, three of them. Um, shit. Well, I wanted to throw fire out their faces. I was like, I don't want that anymore. Keeping in mind, Milo, you are currently blinded. Yeah. yeah. Um, can I get one of those rocks, son? You can absolutely grab a rock from my backpack. Go ahead and make an investigation check. See if you can find a rock in CJ's bag. Oh, wow. It's not a particularly difficult check, but in the heat of battle. Plus... 15. Nice. 15? Yeah, you are... You just sort of reach in the most jagged Grab a rock. Okay. You are now holding a rock. All right. Well, I'm going to throw it at him. Which one? The one that you just did. Okay. Let's get rid the of that, that, that right, dude yes. first. Okay, so go ahead and roll a dexterity-based attack. So you're going to roll a d20 and add one. That exactly hits. Let's go! Yeah. Oh, these rocks are coming in clutch! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Three. 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 That's good. That's good. All right, once just again, as you just reach in rocks. and throw another rock at the Ariados, you hit just under the other uh, the other cut as it just goes... So and more mad. venom just dripping off its fangs. Oh, no. And it's looking furious. <laughs> what does Koa want to do? I think he's going to um, take his little sharp studs, and he's going to go and ram him in the ass. Okay. Tackle. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay so we're going for a tackle. 20, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 19. Yes. Ass ram! Ass ram! Plus four. Ass ram! Good. Sure. D6 plus two. Let's go, Koa. Four. Four. four points of damage. Nice! As Koa... <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, CJ! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> Okay, so as as Koa sees that this uh, this massive spider seems to be getting furious with both you and CJ, he just goes into full protective mode and just dive tackles into the back of this thing to try to get his attention. Doesn't seem to work. <sighs> At least you get it. Brings us to a blinded Milo. A blinded Milo. What are you um, gonna do, bro? He's not. He's can't do anything. He's got webbings all over. He's just eyes. gonna yell as loud as he can in an attempt to intimidate anything or just draw the attention of maybe something else. Could you roll okay. something to like pull the webs off your eyes at least? Can I? Is that a thing? You can use your action. Yeah, why not? Take the webs off your eyes. All right. Well, do something. Yeah, I thought okay. that was like a. I thought I was just blind. Oh no! You just have webs on your face. Okay. You can pull the webs off. Yeah, I'm pull them off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Go ahead and make a strength check. Okay. Come on. Five. <laughs> yeah, five. You're tugging and pulling, and you actually get your hand stuck to the side of your I'm like, yeah. <laughs> now I want to yell as loud as I can. Okay, you just maybe, go, ah! Maybe intimidate these guys a little bit. Uh, okay. This guy's crazy. He's got webs on his face. You can try to roll an intimidation oh, wait, check. It's minus one for a seven. <laughs> okay. You're going to like, ah! <laughs> the spiders just sort of look at you confused, but you're not even sure if it had right. any effect. Um, Violet is going to... Not move. Activate focus energy. Okay. Um, and then go in for a comic punch. Okay. As you, as you would have seen, uh, Violet's aura just <laughs> powers up, and some of, some of the grass around her starts to like flatten Set. out. A few of the rocks start levitating and actually just turning into dust. Let's go. I can kind of see up. just purple light. She's yeah. Going the super sad. Just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know where you are, but do something good. <laughs> All right, um, as violets go, so on, go ahead and roll. And then See I how get, many attacks and then I get you get. Plus two attacks, right? Yep. Okay. Plus two to your rolls. Come on, violet. So, That's not good. So you're doing two. So you roll two attacks. Two attacks, and then this is. It and you're adding my, an extra two to my hits. So, yes. So like two I'm two. adding plus four. Yes. So okay. you have plus four to hit now instead of two. So it's sixteen. That's good. And eighteen. That's, that's better. Let's go. So both of those will hit. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll two d three. A two and a three. Let's nice. go. Five points of damage. Let's go. That's big. Uh, you just hear and the skittering of feet as Violet just sort of rocks in for the one two punch right to this thing's gut and then just sort of skits away the as the Ariados just bites down to where it was, seeing its natural prey in front of it. Bentley, you are currently awake. There's a spider in your tent and you just hear everybody screaming outside. Yeah, so. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is kick this spider that bit me in the face as hard as I can. Okay, go ahead and make a strength check. Yep, my strength is not great, so this is gonna be interesting. 
One unnatural. Unnatural one. As you're just sort of kicking and flailing, the spider's just sort of jumping around, dodging your feet. How is it possible to be an unnatural one? His strength. He has a minus one. Like a minus one strength. strength. Negative. Because he's a young boy. <laughs> I'm a BB boy. I got no strength. No upper body strength. He studies Pokemon. He's rich. <laughs> do you want to do anything with mortar? Yeah, so I'll send Mortar out. Okay. Uh, Where would you like to send Mortar? Be careful. He's injured. Well, I mean, oh, I'm yeah. still Isn't in the tent. Dead? Yeah. So, I mean, if I'm still in the tent, I'm going to send out Mortar. And I like that shit. Go after the one right in front of you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and kill this stupid spinner act that bit me. Alrighty. Oh, boy. So, I yell at Mortar to... Yeah, that's ten either way, but I would fire punch. But I don't know if that's going to do it. You're yeah. so close, but it doesn't hit... Mortar's too tired. As Mortar fires up his his arm, still wounded from the day, still recovering, swings it wild, and it leaves like a little gash in the side of your tent and just barely misses the spinner rack. Ruined my tent on top of everything. This is going horribly. Uh, So, can I now move? You can. So, I want Bentley to run out of the tent and into Phoebe's tent. Okay. And I will leave Mortar to fight the Spinnerack. Okay. You is will it... take an attack of opportunity from the Spinnerack that's in your tent. That's fine. Okay. I'm willing to risk it. Famous last words. I'm, yeah, I'm going to do something stupid too. But... That is... I don't believe enough to hit you. That is a nine. That does not beat your armor. You oh. doubt me! As Let's the Spinnerack right goes, it one. catches the back of your shoe. And you feel two little fangs just barely reach your feet. And then let go. Wow. You seeing for the first time an unconscious Phoebe with just blood streaming down her torso. With a very confused and angry Nubster just sort of like all frilled up. And a a sort of confused and dusty William. It's just like... Alright. Gotta stop the bleeding. That ends Bentley's turn. I have my order of operations now that I'm finally at... That brings us to Nubster. Okay. Who currently can only see Ben? I might not be strong. And I'm the Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> Nubster can see the other spinner rack. He can see the spinner rack that's right outside. Okay. Cannot currently see Ariados as there's a rock rough and a and a Bentley in the way, and he's very low to the ground. I think Nubster, in his in his rage, sees this thing that bit Bentley on the way over, and he's gonna fire something at it. An ice shard. Okay. So go ahead and roll an ice shard. 17. Nice. That'll do. Nubster's on board today. He's Nubster's, defending. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's a narrative seven, hero. Seven damage. Narrative hero. Seven damage. That is exactly That's enough going. to knock out one of these spinners. Yes! Let's go! So go ahead and take the one nearest to Mortar off the field. Yeah. Nubster is yeah. doing Dead. work. As Nubster just launches an ice shard, just like almost out of its tears. Oh. <laughs> Sinking into this spinner act, just gashing it up the side as you watch this innards just spill out. <laughs> Nubster doesn't play no Bro. games. Woo! Not even that. Nubster is defending Phoebe viciously. Yes. Nubster don't play no games. Does Nubster want to move? No. Okay. Stay there. Yeah. That brings us to the Ariados' turn. Oh god. Tegan. Why? Why? Well, that's not, that's not great. It's an 11 to hit you. What is your dexterity? Plus one. one. So she's a twelve. Twelve? Yes. And misses by one. Yes. Oh. As fangs yes. sink into the side of your jacket, just Thank one God puncturing for right jackets, inside. Y'all. As you watch the fang come out, you're like, <sighs> you just kind of breathe in as it just <laughs> skates by, and <laughs> it's fashion. Yes, I knew that jacket would be clutch. CJ, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. As the Ariados flips its back end up towards you, and you see this massive red painted face. No, I don't have this. Oh, no, four. Four. Okay. A natural one. You are unable to move on your turn, and you are currently afraid of the Ariados. Of course you are. As it goes... I mean, that, that's on brand. Yeah. He's been talking about his fear of spiders for quite a while God. now. That brings us to William's <laughs> turn. Really? As the Ariados is just reared up towards CJ. It's um, fangs still just dripping venom. You actually have a little bit of venom running down the front of you. So you're kind of yeah. like, ah. I think, okay, here's, here's, here's my, here's William's plan. <laughs> he sets the hat down, 
he jumps on Kurt's back. And <laughs> in it is a rock that he stole from CJ. <laughs> That's so bitch. And seeing that everyone else has been throwing them, decides to throw one too. Okay, where is he throwing a rock? At the big guy. The but big he guy. pulls this out of the hat, so we now I, 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 like, set I it see down the hat. Okay. He's throwing he the rock. There. All right. Okay. Whew. Ben, go ahead and make a perception check. Seventeen. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> In the heat of battle, cool. not everything is yeah. is as- Obvious. assumed. Yeah. The hat. You I know William it. has it, but like thinking yeah. and associating. Cool. We're cool. With I can you. see it. I can see it. Cool. Keeping in mind, you have just awakened, so you're still kind of groggy. That was why I called for it. Even if it's not a rock, he's just gonna throw something at him. Okay. So go ahead and roll roll a d4. No. Nope. Real quick. Uh, We're gonna see what he pulls out of his hat. Perfect. A four. A four. Okay. He pulls out a very small, like, little teeny tiny pebble with oh, little like, incisions me. that he's been making into it. <laughs> that was my pebble! That's not my pebble! That's Look, awesome. It looks like he's been carving something into this uh, this rock. What? And what? he just goes, and just bats it with his tail. Go ahead and roll an attack. Let's go. Like this one? Yep. Come out like a bullet! 19. Oh! 19. As the little pebble goes, Right into the back of this Ariados, who's sort of reared up. It hits right in the soft underbelly. Go ahead and roll. Oh, damage. let's go. Oh, no. Five. Let's, let's go. go. These rocks have been effective as shit. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. Let's go. We all thought the rocks were stupid. <laughs> I told you rocks come in handy. <laughs> as the rock just sort of gashes up the underside of the Ariados, it loses its stance and sort of falls back on one leg. Centra. Vilium. So glitch. That brings us to the spinner act that is in front of CJ. Phoebe's Pokemon are doing way more than Dude, they're doing so much work right now. <laughs> they're so I motivated. love when dice rolls affect narrative. It's so, <laughs> so awesome. Okay, so this one is going to bite towards you, CJ. Okay. Seeing that you're sort of afraid, that's a natural one. Yeah! As it sort of leaps towards you, it's, it sort of slips on some of the, the innards from the Ariados and just sort of oh, skids and lands prone. That brings That's us good. to you, CJ. So uh, that, that spinner rack is currently from all melee attacks against it will have advantage. I'm gonna try to kick that thing right. Oh, up. CJ. Well, yeah. Signature but, like, move. Jump. Do your forest stomping. Oh, <laughs> oh, Let's go for a forest boy stomp. Stomp. Yeah, me and CJ both, or Crash both, <laughs> are gonna <laughs> jump on that up. motherfucker okay. and so try to smash him. Have... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have him. Yeah. Well, I'm here. Crash, Crash is gonna, gonna. Well, can Crash get there? Can he jump? Crash can get there, but the Ariados yeah, will get a free. Okay, then I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna try to jump okay. on it. Go for Forest Boy stomp. stomp. Yep. Forest Boy stomp. Here we right. go. Go ahead and roll a strength based he attack. He loves to stomp in the forest. Seven. Seven. Seven does not hit the spinner rack. Fucking miss. However, wait, wait. it's, it's prone. Advanced. You have advantage. It's so advantage. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Twenty. All right, Forest Boy. Go ahead and roll 2d4. 2d4. That's One for each play. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> two. God. Two. Two and two. Still alive, but very much wounded with two little shoe prints as you go. <laughs> and Forest Boy stomp onto the spinner rack. You leap off. You can see it's sort of like <laughs> barely holding on there. Forest Boy, stop. That brings us to the other spinner rack. He's going to just behind you and come in for a Tegan. No. That is not enough to hit you. Yeah. Let's go. As, as yet Tegan, another jacket, spider, jacket, Tegan, jacket. As another one jumps towards your back and you feel something on you and just sort of just slam it onto the ground in front of you. It's like... So it's laying in front of me. Right it is now. currently in front of you. You're sort of facing it as you just slam it onto the ground. That brings us to Tegan and Milo. Oh. Milo, your hand is still sort of stuck to the side of your face. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if I should I try it. I was going to try hand. and help you, but now there's a spider in front of me, so I can't. I don't, sorry. Or if your hands get stuck, yeah, I'm like, I don't want to do that. Human centipede. Um, I'm still going to do the same move, but I'm going to be real cool about it. I'm going to kick him with my two legs, and then I'm going to slip into a back lip and land back on my feet. <laughs> okay. Just just start with a strength check. <laughs> you want that acrobatics in there? Yeah, yeah I, I do. do. So let's start there. I just want to kick him in the face with both my feet. Okay, so we're starting with a, with a strength check. <laughs> just natural. Oh, no, that's a seven. Okay. Seven. So, okay. It's eight. Strength eight. eight. Yeah. 
Okay, so as you go up to do a double jump kick, <laughs> you're going at the little spider in front of you? Yes. Okay, as you go for the double jump kick, a little string of webs right around your legs. And as you go to do your, as you go to like backflip and land, you... <gasps> Way to try and pull all the gymnast bullshit out of your ass. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> what does Koa want to do? Um, I, uh, he um, is going to be stupid and um, run and jump on top of the big one and do a thrash. Okay. Oh, baby. Um, which is going to be stupid because he takes damage for this. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm going to do it anyways. <sighs> So we also go ahead. You still roll it. You still roll the hit. This one. Yep. It's gonna be worth it. Plus four. Come on. Seven. 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 Seven misses. Go ahead and roll your damage. To himself. Yes. One. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Okay. So Koa takes one damage. All right. It's your time now. So what happened there? So basically, Koa goes. Let's out a roar, seeing Tegan in danger. Goes to leap on top of the Ariados, and the Ariados just kicks backwards. As Koa, with full force, just catches a leg into the right into the collarbone and just is knocked back down to the ground. So basically, basically the Arayados just says, "Sit yourself." Yeah. <laughs> Milo and Violet. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the web off my eyes. Please don't get their hands stuck. Go ahead and make a strength check. Seven. <laughs> Seven. You don't get your other hand stuck, but you're sort of just pulling. Your, your stuck hand with your unstuck hand, and you're not really making any progress. So you're sort of snapping back into place. Just go run away somewhere! I can't. He I can't don't know where I am. He's just gonna just like fall back. Ah! He can run into the spider. Oh, okay. Alright, and then uh, Violet is Violet's currently gonna... under the effect of focus. Yeah, she's, she's gonna, gonna comic do. punch again. Okay, so roll a d4, oh, yeah, see yeah. how many times. Five. Let's go! Five, Let's five, go. Attacks. five attacks. Okay, each one with a plus four to hit. 22. Good. Let's go. 7. Miss. 9. Miss. 14. Hits. 5. Great. Big hits. 2. Okay. 2. Alright. 2 and 2. I'll take it. Okay. Oh. As you're sort of. You hear. As five punches come out from Violet. Three of which strike dirt, just sending dirt and debris just spraying everywhere. As she's punching it with all four of her little hands. Sure, wild. But the Ariados is, is sort of like kind of stocky and it's got spindly little legs. He's just sort of going for the legs. So the hits that do land kind of buckle one of the Ariados' knees. It's Sweet. just like, That's oh, my leg. That takes us back to Bentley and Mortar. <sighs> yeah, so seeing Phoebe in the tent, unconscious, mm-hmm. blood on the torso, black veins on the neck, it's terrifying. I'm going to try and stabilize her with a medicine check. Okay. Just so she maybe doesn't drop dead in the next 10 minutes, I guess. Okay. A seven. Okay. Um, so you're not really sure what's going on or why. Mm-hmm. And as you just sort of look over, you've never seen this much blood, much less coming out of a person. Gross. And you're really sort of not sure what to do. You kind of just take, like, part of her sweatshirt, and you're kind of just, like, patting it down. down. You're like, ah! And you, there's just blood all over your hands, and you're getting super nervous. You're like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, what do I do? And you notice that a lot of the blood is, like, super just thick. It's like a little... Deep crimson ichor all over your hand, and you're really just not sure what to do with this. This is bad. Kind of like uh. that. That venom is bad. Uh, so, in lieu of a movement, can I now turn and look into the hat to see if there's anything in? Uh, you can make an investigation check to sort of peer into the hat. Yes. Well, Robert Williams gonna flip. Fifteen. Okay. Um, you see a small collection of rocks. Okay. A few sticks. Okay. Uh, you no longer see a pocket watch because he gave that back. Um, and you do see what appears to be two small purple berries, which you recognize to be those little healing orange berries that he seems to have stolen from Phoebe <laughs> and placed into his hat. Naturally. Just for safekeeping. And that's all that's in there? <laughs> that is all that is in there currently. Use the healing berry. 
I don't know. Right? But Bentley is just sort of like, ah, oh, what do I, what do I do with this? What do I, I do? All right. So Bentley panicking, looking into the hat and not finding really anything that's helpful. Potentially the berries, but we'll cross that bridge at some point. I yell out of the tent to Mortar to help the rest of the team, and he jumps out and tries to throw a fire punch at the Ariados following. Okay. Violet's little one, two. Okay. Yeah! 18. Yeah, that'll hit. Let's go. You don't stuff your nose. Eight. Eight points of damage. There's a massive hit. Mortar seeing his friends and uh, his friends and quickly becoming family in danger um, sets his arm alight. <laughs> Whack! Just right to the back of this Ariados, just slamming it into the ground, leaving a massive burning pitch that used to be its scary little face. Ooh. Let's go. A beast. It just sort of rears up. Still furious. It is looking very bad, but it is still up. That brings us to Nubster. Nubster. Oh, Nubster. Throw Nubster, an ice on. shard and end this. End this, Nubster. Nubster. He can't see he him. Can't, no yeah, way. So have move him out to the front of the tent. Have him Koa's guard way. the front of the tent. Can we with Koa? Yeah, I guess seeing seeing Bentley trying to help Phoebe. Have Nubster make a wisdom check. Okay, fair enough. Given the circumstances. Fair enough. Twenty. Okay. Nubster sort of realizes so the only way out is through. <laughs> and sort of Gingerly slithers off of Phoebe and heads to the front of the tent. Oh. 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 Interesting. Oh my. Oh, Phoebe. <laughs> no. Okay. So Nubster is currently at the front of the tent. He can see uh, two downed spiders and one mostly downed spider. Uh, yeah, he's gonna. He he saw it happen, so he's gonna ice sharp the, the guy that bit her, that bit Phoebe. Okay. I will say, because this is the one that bit Phoebe and Nubster is fully aware of this, go ahead and roll your attack with advantage. Let's go, Nubster! Come on. Not fucking around. 12, so that's 15. Okay. And 11, so that's 14, so 15. Okay. Either one would hit, yes. so go ahead and roll your damage. I just wanted a 20. I wanted a I, no, I, I did too. Really did too. Yeah. I, I did too, so if I'm being honest. I was trying to will it into existence. Yeah. yeah. All right. I should do it. We could. It's doing five. Five. Nice. Okay. Five cold damage. As Nubster, again, just tears of ice, just shoots out not one, but like six. As all these little icicles just <laughs> strike their way into the back of the Aridos, it's looking incredibly haggard, but still up. God, this thing is an absolute <laughs> monstrosity. Brings us to the Aridos, who's going to spin around. Wait, don't. I, William can go, can he? William is not next in the initiative order. Oh, okay. He goes after the Ariados. LOL. The Ariados is going to bite towards the Violet. No. Oh, no. With a unnatural 20. Well, it's a hit. Well, good thing Violet has 23 AC. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Violet takes seven points of poison damage. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was clutch. Wow. Of 3d6. 1 HP left. Of 3d6. Two threes and a one. Oh my god. <gasps> Woo! As Violet just... You hear the aura sort of fizzle out for a second. And then... Fire back up, shooting the Ariados back five feet. So just a square. Man. Just a square. Just a square. That brings us to I William's can't spare turn. Square. William! Um, well, I mean... He's still next to his bag, right? He has mm-hmm. rocks. So let's throw, yeah, let's rocks. throw something. Let's th- so I gotta roll to see what he picks up, right? Pick yep. Up. A one. Okay. As he reaches in, he grabs a small stick. Oh, thank God. And sort of goes, and just throws it. Okay. Go ahead and roll an attack. 20! Yeah, roll 20! As he throws the stick, the Ariados is wounded in so many areas. The stick just sort of goes <laughs> right into one of the wounds. Yes. He takes not one, but two whole points of damage. Let's go! Two whole points! Woo! The sticks, guys! I tell you, the sticks! 
<laughs> the rhino's nose is like a dick javelin, sort like, of whoa. pointing out of its back. Oh as William's God, just sort so of like... Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's that, hilarious. Fantastic. Our critical does, does You cannot move? hold them down! <laughs> does William want to move? No. Okay. That brings us to the spinner act that is in front of CJ. It hops up from prone. I think it's a shock of just throwing a critical stick. That he's just like, critical, <laughs> critical stick. stick. <laughs> Hashtag critical stick. Get it trending. <laughs> CJ, this one's coming towards you. Okay. That is, I don't believe enough to hit you. That's only an 11. Yeah. As he strikes out towards you, it just... <laughs> use your forest boy stomping as you're jumping yeah. off of its belly and it reaches up. It just <laughs> strikes air. Yeah. Which brings us to CJ and Crash. Um, I'm going to try to kick the one that's in front of me. Okay. The one that just struck out towards you? Yeah. Okay, go for a kick. CJ. What is that? Eight. That is a strength check. Okay. So that's an eight. eight. Eight does not strike his AC. Right. As you're sort of kicking out towards him, you catch him in the fangs, but he's just sort of ready for you and kicks back, and you guys kind of just clash in midair and then both lay down. Well. Okay. We are not doing well. Humans uh, are Pokemon not meant to do battle yay. with mutated animals. That's about what I would expect, though. Yeah. Right now it's Nubsterphilium. Yeah, and it's all the Pokemon doing all the work, basically. Uh, crashes. It's the two that I want to do the work are doing the best. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Really? Crash. Crash is going to try to... Should be very proud. Get after the Aridos. Let's go. Come on, Crash. End this. He's going to move in and try to, try to bite him. All right, go ahead and roll your attack. Come on. Come on. 15. 15 hits. Yes! Let's go! Um, okay. Six. Nine. How hey, do you want to do this? Go! Oh, yes! oh, let's go! <laughs> let's go, Crash! Um, Crash is running in full speed. He's going to jump up. Um, and as the Arido sees him, he, like, tries to hit him, but Crash moves, comes down right on his, like, head, neck area, and just bites it right off. Oh, okay. <laughs> just <laughs> rolls. Like, drive the All right. In. That's what I was going to say. Like, just... He's pissed. He's just like, fuck this, we're done! All right. Crash looks to Mortar. Mortar deignites the arm, holds it out. As Crash leaps up, Mortar tosses him into the air. Let's go. As the Arayato sees this rearing back, ready for like the kill shot, is Crash's belly is fully exposed. As he comes in, Crash sees this, he goes, gives a nice little 360 tumble, <laughs> landing with its jaws just right on the Arayato's neck, who lets out a final, as Venom's just dripping from its fangs, as you, one swift motion as the head just, <laughs> Falls off, just dripping ichor and venom all over the floor. Let's go! Get out of what here! Milo, you, you do feel suddenly <laughs> like really like, warm and gross. And you're kind of like, oh. Yes, let's go! 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 let us Crash sort of moves towards CJ defensively in between. Yeah. Okay, that brings us to the spin rack that is behind you. Milo. Yeah. No, that's not bad. Okay, that's so it's a 15 down. to hit. I imagine that will. Okay. You take three points of piercing damage. So you've now taken five. You do a total of five. Oh boy. Not great. Luckily, they can't overheal, so that one doesn't heal anything. But. That brings us to Tegan and a blinded Mila. Come on, Mila. Can I just try again real quick? Just yeah. to get that out of the way. Do it. I'm going to try to get the money. Nope. Oh, no. Six. Six. <laughs> my worst. All right. Check on that again. <laughs> Finally getting frustrated, you just stick your other hand up and go, Aah! and then... Yeah. <laughs> Aah! Aah! Still just sort of squealing in the night. Can't quite get the, the webbing up your eyes. Oh, God. I'm just destined to be blind every time. <laughs> I mean, it happens every time. Every time, but Every time. We also have Violet, if you guys want to do yeah. kind of like a team-up attack. Um, or or we, Mighty oh, yeah, we Power can Rangers. How would that work? Go in there. However they want, I imagine. Right? Yeah, that's what they come up with. Can I? Here's what I want to come up with. Okay. Violet's near death, so I don't really want to put her on the front lines, but... Um, I wouldn't be opposed to putting her on Koa. I was going to say, can she jump on Koa? And try to use my energy to just, like, pump you up. Yeah. Can, ooh, can that? Yeah? That's, so That's sick. my idea. And okay, like, okay. So I I'm with it. run over, I like well, we meet Tackle up, she just jumps on Koa's back, 
does his focus, what is it, whatever focus it's called, energy. and okay. then I just go and try and tackle so, into yeah, this. Yeah, so this. I can't, she can't move, so you'd have to come, come pick her up. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Can I do that without getting attacked first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you are not currently in range of them. They're bigger th- on the map than they are in range truly. Of okay. They're actually like very small spiders. Oh, okay. They're only about this big. Oh, can I, then I, the so can, Tegan, can I try one. and just stomp this do one? The thing. Yeah. The thing with Cohen. But first, yeah, cause yeah, start with that. Okay. I feel um, like, yeah, like focus energy. For okay. the transfer of focus energy, I want you both to roll a d4. See if okay. it works. For it's our character? For, our Pokemon. For, 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 for your Pokemon. Pokemon. You're just rolling a d4 and let me know what the numbers are. Two. 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 You guys are perfectly in sync. Let's go! Let's go! Koa's own energy seems to like enhance. You can see his, his little rocky muscles just start rippling. Oh! It's like, it looks like one of those like bull mastiffs who's just like jacked for a minute, <laughs> and you're kind of like a nerd. But you're like this is kind of cool. The As... buddy cop sitcom you didn't know you needed. Yeah. <laughs> As so Violet's cool, energy cool, envelops cool. both of them, <laughs> yeah. uh, purple at the top and sort of like a, a nice orange at the bottom, just sort of mixing beautifully. As Koa dive tackles towards one of these, and Violet's just ready with like the ear clap. <laughs> Go ahead, both of you can roll your attacks. Come on. So 17, you need to roll how many combat punches you do? Oh, plus okay. Four. Just in 21. case. Nice. So one. Plus seven. One, two, oh, three. so was I not okay. supposed to roll really this? So you're, you're good. good. You're good. Joel just says a different. He's oh. a step before. I feel like I should keep that to be fair. Okay. Um, so one of them. So one misses for sure. That was a seventeen, nineteen. Yeah. Okay. So both of you will hit with at least one attack. So go ahead and roll your d three, and go ahead and roll your damage. D six. Two. Seven. Seven? Seven yes. total. Seven total. Well, no, Yo, seven. She rolled I rolled seven. seven. Oh, you did seven? Oh, I did seven. Okay, okay. 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 I did two. So that's okay. nine. Yeah, so you guys combined your efforts um, as the glowing duo sort of ride into battle like a like a gallant knight. Uh, <laughs> Koa just lashes out whack, right to the side of the spinner axe, sending it sliding back as Violet just tackles off and wham! One good punch right to the head as it just... Just sort of splatters into guts on the floor. Let's go! Go ahead and remove that one from the board. That was sick. Get out of here. That was so cool. Tegan, you still have an action. We should have given Violet a stick. (laughs) (laughs) Can I try and get his eyes clear? Because now we don't have any. Yes. Yes. Oh, him. Okay, so (laughs) what is that? That is a strength check. Strength? That is a strength check. It is not a high DC. 15. 15. That is more than enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Literally needed like a 12 the entire time. Like, like six. You're just four. like, oh, there's only one spider left? <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? What did I As what? you walk up and you're like, this oh, guy, and you just just tear it and pull it off just, his eyes. like, what are you doing? <laughs> Imagine the mayhem that you're seeing after you take Milo, off your eyes. As you, as you can finally oh, see the battlefield, God. you can see Bentley sort of squatting over uh, Phoebe, who's just still bleeding out. Um, you see two completely decimated spider bodies and one massive one that's just like burning in a desiccated husk. Uh, you see Violet currently riding Koa and then like leaping through the air and crushing one of these spiders. And you're just like, what is going on? <laughs> what is happening? The sickest, illest thing that ever. That brings us to... Don't pass battle. Oh, Tegan, you still have a thing if you want to do. No, I, oh, yeah. I took yeah. his eyes out. Oh, you took his eyes out, yeah. yeah. I took his eyes off. His eyes. I took his eyes off. Sorry. Don't do that. Um, Take his eyes out. Roll a strike check. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're mine now. You don't deserve them. I want to try and find the berry that Jess gave no. to Phoebe. No. no. I want to try no. and she find it. Ben's turn. Okay. He's got to do. He's gonna do what he's gonna do. So, okay. do I have to roll to try and find it? Because yes. I also would want to do like a mm-hmm. history check if I do no, find I it to figure out what kind of. You need is. an investigation check to see if you can locate it. Okay. That is. We'll say that's close to that's your action because you've got to search through all other stuff. That's not gonna do it. You being unfamiliar with where Phoebe keeps things, um, she's sort of a scatter person. Perfect. Um, you're unable to locate the berry. Shit! All right. Uh, well, that's. The end of Bentley, who's just panicking like nobody's Someone business inside this tent. Them. Bentley is just sort of covered Crying. in blood at this point. Crying. It's like, oh, it's just, just, I'm useless. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm doing nothing. Yes. All right, so. Again, brings in a mortar. Spider. Yeah, so mortar having thrown crash into the air for the 360 spin decapitation attack, which was sick as hell. He's going to run over following him to the final spinner rack and then try and throw 
a fire punch at it. Okay. That's a 23. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll do. I imagine it will. I think any amount of damage is good. 11. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Daddy. As Mortar just runs up, Crash looks at him and just quick high five as the big arm ignites in flame again and just shooting out a gout of fire as it just melts this spinner rack. Before the fist even reaches him, he's just like melted from the heat. Dream team. God. That's going to take us out of initiative. (laughs) Woo! Holy shit. All right. No more spiders. Well done, Now I need the save. Save me. Yeah, no kidding. Get into okay. the tent. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm like bringing us back in. We gotta, we gotta do this. Y'all. As the spiders all hit the ground, what are you guys doing? We say we, we all run over. We are, yeah. we're, we're running into okay. the tent. We all Get gotta here get there now. Yes. Help me. <laughs> you guys all see Bentley just sort of dripping in Phoebe's blood, and he's just sort of like I'm panicking. Slapping. His hands are shaking. I'm Wake the fuck it. up! Wake up! <laughs> I'm walking up. I'm yeah, just. He is amazing. Stay woke. Terrified right now. Freaking out. Get up. I am. Pull yourself together. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but also, I was just trying to find her berry, and I can't find her berry because it's like I feel like I know enough about. Can I try to find it? Because I have a high investigation. Go ahead and make an investigation. Oh, please do. Please find this thing. It's all we had. And... I don't want to use it, but I want to find it. And if I find it, I'm holding it. We well, it. I'm, okay. I'm not just gonna use it. What I'm if gonna... it kills her? No, that's why I'm doing a check. Fifteen. Fifteen. You are able to locate the berry. Okay. A little red berry that looks like a star. So can Into I roll a history check to see if I can jog my memory and figure out what this berry is? You can, but being largely unfamiliar with this kind of berry, it's gonna be a very difficult check. Okay. Hope for a crit. Fifteen. You're not familiar with this kind of berry. Shit, so we have you to get like basically You have not read or heard about it. Right. Let's try and get Let's the blood away. stopping. Yeah, we can stop. I was going to say, can you take one of the healing ones and maybe like grind it up and like, see if that helps at all? Yeah, like, there's a some, salve? Yeah. Like put it on her or like crush yeah, it up and try and put it in her put mouth? Or both. I'll let, I'll let Milo make the call. Because they're super, super bitter. So, yeah. I mean, it might help like... Shockers a little bit. Reminder, I all. Think we sh- for sure should try and stop the bleeding. She could bleed out. A thousand bleed. percent, yeah. yeah. But just a reminder the only things that we found in the hat were small rocks, a few sticks, two of which were used by William in the heat of the battle, and then two of the horn berries. That he had. That he had. Phoebe had some. Correct. She's got 12. Right. But so we William has well. two, which we know a thousand percent are in the hat. So if you wanted to just take one out of the hat, I can tell you that they're in there. Because how how big is the wound? About this big around twice. Okay, Jesus. You can't, like, oh. you can't, they're big fangs. Fucking yeah. shit. You can't like turn a kid back. Violet is also for currently camera purposes, sitting with like a massive wound, just holding herself together. That like, big around, which so is heaving. Bad. We're in the um, Should we sh- try and roll can you, over? How about you roll for Koa to try and send Koa out to, to find somebody, somebody, find help? Do a lassie situation. Um, a lassie situation. I mean, I, I'm grasping it. Is there something here. that we want him to find specifically? Maybe more berries. Maybe a person. A person. Say, go find anyway. help and let him figure it out. Okay, <laughs> find just to go find someone. Yeah, find okay. help. Please roll a tie, please. Natural one. All right. As Koa just looks at you, nods and runs off into the night. <laughs> Coming back with sticks. Uh, or not at all. <laughs> yeah, he's gone forever. Okay, can well. We <laughs> Wait, can we just uh, come up with a plan? Like, can we try and stop the bleeding? We can we someone, the someone's got to apply pressure to it for now. I can do that. Okay, okay. Yeah. just, just put pressure on it. Because I had to do that for myself for a while, so okay. I, can, I can do that. Go ahead and make a survival check. Let's go. 18. 18. 18. Okay. Again, you are pretty familiar with giant gash wounds. You've been around Crash long enough to know how to kind of staunch the flow of blood. But you're just kind of sitting there holding a little bit of pressure, and you're like, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. What are the rest of you doing? Can we, so maybe can we have Crash try and like put water to like flush out the wound a little bit, clean it out? Okay. I want to pull back, by the way. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay, she's sort of sitting there going. I'll do the same with Mortar since he's at 2 HP. Okay. So Mortar and Violet are not always, but at least want to do that for them. Can Crash do that and try and get like the basically all of it off so we can see what's going on better? He can try. Can, can we tell so Crash William? is typically better at force than yeah. Gentle. I don't know if that's a good idea. Being gentle. Can, well, does he have enough strength? Because she's shivering, she's cold, so we need a big support she's, for her. Phoebe is cold and still. Yes. So we need some warmth for her. So we either need to bundle her up or have a fire or something. All right. So I'll send out mortar and just have mortar sit next to her with his flame body. Okay. Because he's just sort of sitting there. And then Nupster will go and lay on the um, you're blocking the wound, right? Yeah. So maybe just like on her head. Okay. Like an ice pack. Yeah. Okay. Just sort of like. Oh, cute. And just sits there and he just sort of goes. And just sort of deflates a little. Bit. As even so William, sad. who usually you're like, where, where is he? What's he stealing now? Is just sitting by Phoebe, just sort of clutching his hat and his tail. He's just sitting there. Wait, so we're stopping and trying to stop the bleeding. Do we try and give her the berries now? I mean, Crush can I? Put on the let's try it at least one of these. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's do it as like a salve and see if it does anything to like stop the bleeding without the medical. Orally or on the wound? Both. 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 Yeah. Okay. I'd say do you want it first. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how it works. Then supplement it afterwards. So okay. it's not Right. Yeah. Okay. Roll it below. Roll it. All right. So you're applying the berry to the wound. Yep. Yes. Okay. We're gonna grind it up. No roll required for that. As you okay. just rub to it. Dusted berry on the wound. Yeah. Um, it soaks up a little bit of the blood. It kind of just gets gross. Oh. Wonderful. Gets gross. What do you mean? Like the berry itself is just sort of covered in blood. Uh, nothing really happened. Yeah. Nothing really happened. Okay. So now we can try to make her eat what if it just does nothing unless you adjust it? Okay. okay, so we try to make it. So let's like grind it up. Uh, some water? Yeah, mix it with some water. You fill up some first with water and then we'll mix it with crash pit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how would you go water. outside of the tent and make some water? Somewhere. No, crash is just gonna fucking dig a hole real quick. It's just fucking doing it. Okay, she's gonna fill some water in it. Okay. <clears throat> Not the cleanest, but there is a little a little pool of water now. Get a, get a cup of it, grind up another berry, mix it in with the water so that um, we can tilt Phoebe's head up and kind of help her drink some. Okay. Go ahead and roll a deep in. This one? Yeah. Five. Okay. Hey, Phoebe. You can come back to the table. Now. Let's go. Yay! <laughs> She's awake! Oh, gosh. Phoebe! Yes, you're alive. <laughs> For now. We don't know. For now. Welcome back, Phoebe. Yay! Yeah. 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 Phoebe, you found the consciousness. Back. You see Bentley just covered in red goo. Um, you've, you've got some kind of like powder on your torso, and there's like two gaping holes in you, and you're like, <gasps> and you just see everybody leaning over you, like, <sighs> what's up? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> She yeah. remembers us, that's good! <laughs> yeah. The only thing for now, because you need to rest, yes, is that sure. your Pokemon love you. Yes, yeah. they do. <laughs> as, as Nubster is sort of laying on your head, <laughs> just sort of like purring quietly, <laughs> and Williams just sort of stood by your side, clutching his little table. Can I <laughs> Just spider They kicked around. so much ass! Yeah, really, they did. Did. really crazy. William threw a stick. Yes, Alright, so should we like we make her a bed? Uh, like a sleeping bed. Can I like her prop her up? Boost. <laughs> yes. Oh. Self doctor. Oh, she's gonna, gonna murder happen. 20. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you all night? <laughs> What's she rolling for? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> she wants to investigate yeah. her own wounds. Okay, that's medicine check. Okay. I'm gonna roll a die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 14. Yeah. Okay. Um, they are obviously a massive spider bite. You're not entirely sure when or where this happened to you, but clearly it's recent. Um, the blood around the wound is having trouble coagulating, to use a large word. Um, 
But as far as what to do about that, you're not entirely sure because you're just sort of out in the woods. You don't have your usual supplies. Is, so, are the veins still black in her neck and stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, so, okay, so, so we, we, we venom is still in the system. Yeah, we do. So I don't know if we all want to like carry her to try and get to the next town, or if we want to backtrack and go back to Daniel and try and get Daniel to help, but saying here I think is not a good idea. So is she still bleeding? Why she is have, still bleeding. Do we have a medic her? her? You do have a medic. Yeah. You have can some, you tell us you have some bandages. With the medical kit, and then we can help her. Can you at least just bandage it up? Yeah. Can so we, like, bleeding? yeah, yeah corrode her yeah. with some fire? Oh. Jeez. That's, 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 let's try the bandage. <laughs> <laughs> A little yeah, William, have you already to bite your tail? I was like, give her a stick! Worst case scenario, maybe. <laughs> it will stop the bleeding, guys! Yeah, at least try to bandage it. Yeah. Bite down on this, this is gonna hurt. It will. To bandage, try to wait, wait, to bandage your wound, you don't need to roll. Oh, You can, just, will be you can just do that to stop the bleeding. Okay. Thank God. Um, it's not gonna do anything about the venom in the system, but it will, at the very least, it'll kind of slow down you well, just bleeding Isn't everywhere. there venom everywhere from that Eridos? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go. It's been dripping. Or can everywhere. one of you guys go? <laughs> yeah, you can't going. move. I'm not, we're not letting you move. Can you go collect some of it? Yeah. No. Yes. I'll do it. Okay. Did you have to roll for that? Yeah, she 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 to oh yeah, that's a survival check. Oh shit. To try to get some venom out of this thing. Don't slip and like kill Ten. yourself. Okay. Um, you get what you think is enough of the venom. Just from going over to the fangs and kind of like tapping the top of its head, trying to get <laughs> something to fall into a jar. Smart, yeah. I see Jr. Like, grab some <laughs> with your hands. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Is this good? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Stevie puts it in her centrifuge. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> and travels back in time before the spider bit her. Where were? So are right, you gonna so do like a check to figure out what? Yeah. Is can I do that? Can I? Can I see like? I can something with what I have. <laughs> what you have, where you are, being who or, you are. because how far away are we from we're days? We're, 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 no, you're within a day. You're within a day of Oriander City. Okay. It would be rough travels. You're at the point where, like, your bones hurt, but... I feel like, like we need to get into, into the town. We got it, yeah. I can't, we can't stay in the woods. Yeah. We oh. should... Should I in the woods? Run, can someone run? Should you run to the town like as fast as you can and try to get a Tauros? Because you already sent a letter to Mission Terry. If we show sure. up Okay, here's here's an idea. You, Milo, run to the town, find Monty, get some antidote for the poisoning, and give it to Monty and tell Monty to fly and more send up like a flare or something. And try to get a Tauros and ride back to us so that we can take her even if it doesn't like significantly. How fast like can we run know. to the town, yeah. though? <laughs> How much time does she have? Well, we could have Milo run ahead, well, and as he's doing that, we'll just so stay on the path. No, I know. Carry Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe, Phoebe, that would be a nature Phoebe check. Know. Phoebe would know Phoebe just off. Can we both? Phoebe, roll what, checks what do we need to better? find? Phoebe for you would just right know. It's right. a Petcha Berry. Petcha? It looks kind of like a peach. Guys, Petcha Berry looks like a peach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who has they usually th- grow up in trees. Okay. Uh-huh. William! Yeah? Who William just sort of looks at you and stands at attention. He's like, yeah? William, go get a Petcha Berry. He's like, draw him one. Yeah, he just, he just I, goes, I'll draw him one. And, and, just, t- and just skitters up a tree. Okay. okay. And just starts looking around. He's like, standing on his tail and everything. He's looking all around for you. If William can succeed, then even if it's not like super effective, at least I can give you time. Her. Yeah. We'll get there, <laughs> and we can start to head towards Suck the town. Okay. Who cares if your bones are? <laughs> so then, right. should we start packing things up really with quick, the intent we... to leave? Can we get some berries for Violet in order, just in case, so we're not forget yeah. that? So, are we down to 10 now, having yes. used the two? two? Yes. So then we'd be down to 8? Yeah. As William is sort of sitting up in the tree, you hear him start chirping. He's going like, and he's just sort of pointing he's in a direction. Well, we can't get it? Well, can we see what yeah, it is? I'm going to look to see what it is. 
or what he's yelling at. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you climbing up with him? Um, would I be able to see? Oh yes. You on the ground? Uh, probably. I'd be able to see. All right. It'd be easier to if you go. I'll just go. I'll just go. I'm gonna try to go. So you'll make a again acrobatics or athletics, whichever you prefer. Uh, let's see. One CJ. Find that tree. Ten. Ten. Okay, you're able to make your way up the tree. It's not not particularly difficult. Um, you kind of watch William get up there, and you kind of follow his his foothold. <laughs> um, as you get up there, you see something. It's like a a light pinkish fruit. It seems to be growing on a tree about thirty feet away. Oh. There's only one of them. There's only one. All right, I'm gonna try to grab it. Okay. You'd have to climb down and like go to the next tree. Okay. 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 So, William, seeing that you've seen it, kind of just goes and just jumps from tree to tree. He kind of gets there and is like trying to reach out and grab it. Can he not reach it? He can't quite reach it. Okay. His um, little, his little arm. He's like, shh. I'm going to try to get up that tree and help him. Chris you know, down, you throw him. Oh, I do. I do. Uh, yeah, I got him. I do. Yeah, you are up the tree. And you're able to just sort of just reach out sense. as William just sort of climbs onto your shoulder and is like, as you grab the fruit first and he's kind of like. <laughs> I'm going to hand it to him. Go give it to me. Okay. He gets it and he's like, <laughs> sticks it in his hat. And just gives you a nod and kind of like scampers down the tree and heads over back towards you. And he runs nice. away, never be seen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what? I got it! Okay. William's a wild card. Phoebe, as he shows up to you, he, he sort of like opens his hat and he starts throwing things out, like a couple rocks, a stick, um, a little purple berry, and then whoosh, he hands you the, the one that you drew a picture of. Oh, great. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and make a. Uh, I'm Real ad hoc anti venom on the spot. <laughs> okay, just like a potion. <laughs> With yeah. what I have. Okay, you have, I... currently have a little puddle of water. Oh, we need. Yeah. You've got we a jar potions. of the venom. Yeah. And you have a berry. Yeah. I'm gonna like mash them all together. What? You're gonna put the venom in there? Yeah. That's how you make anti venom. That's how you make anti venom. <laughs> I don't know why centrifuge. I don't know enough science to dispute it, so. <laughs> I feel like just using what the you berry mean? that cures yeah, poison. Yeah, that's, would a, that's why do I thought it, that was the point of getting the berry that cures poison. Yeah, and then yeah not you already gave me a berry it. that's supposed to. No, I gave you that berry for your health, and that gave you. That How about we do half and half? Yeah. Just take half. Do use half if of it. If it works just really well, you can eat the other half. If it doesn't work well, we can try and make a potion with it. Because if it's a berry that cures poison, yeah, that's the whole point. All right, do I have to do it? I just eat it. I just have to eat it. Okay. As what you eat the berry, you watch as the black veins sort of recede. Oh. Oh, oh, thank God. You still have the gaping wound in your side, and around that area, it still looks real bad. Okay. But at the very least, it doesn't seem like the venom is entirely in your system anymore. It looks like it's slowly being bled out. Okay. Eat the rest of that freaking berry. <laughs> or, or, you know, squirt it onto your hands and eat that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the gaping wound is different from being but they're still but they're healing like abilities. Yeah. With I feel like if you don't do that, just at least finish it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just eat the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. As the as the more you eat of this berry, it kind of just continues to bleed out. Nice. Okay. All right. So the veins aren't black anymore. <laughs> so you are no longer poisoned. You are, however, still still kind of like bleeding through the bandage. Okay. Kind of just like that. But you appear so to be, at least for the moment, hmm? stable. I'm gonna call have... Phoebe into a Pokeball. My bones hurt? <laughs> your bones hurt a little bit, but you, it's kind of just I feel like... better. Alright, we might just be some residual now. Yeah, we gotta get the hell out of here. Do you have, like, meds? So could we give her, like, Tynol? Or is there a sewing <laughs> kit or something in your medical kit? We're just gonna sew her wounds back to try. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Might be a bad idea, but... This is not we sterile. Just, I don't know. We just need to wrap oh, it no. and go. Yeah, yeah, more yeah, just wrap go. it and go. Sure sterilize the... Yeah. I mean, he'll do it. I don't know that you want that. <laughs> Alright, we should okay, probably just... Okay, just wrap it up a million yeah. times and let's go. Okay. Good. Okay. Good walking. Bentley, just leave your tent. It's ruined anyways. We'll buy you a new one. It's ruined. No, no, no. So let's... Are you walking? I was going to say... If, Maybe if oh, we can... Yeah, out yeah let's do that. Okay. That's actually... Yeah. Tie her up, keep her tight, put her in a sleeping bag, yeah. carry her on the broken tent. Yeah, you guys can do that. I'll walk ahead of you guys. Who has the highest strength? Because I sure shit can't carry <laughs> My strength is plus one. Plus four, plus four. Okay. So I feel like maybe plus three. Tegan and CJ or something. You're out here. That's fine. Um, before we leave, you want to call yeah. off her color? Yeah, sure. Or are we just walk <laughs> away? Come, 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 come on, go on. Let's go. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Start off so friendly. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. You hear some crashing through the brush. See three, three owls just whoo, whoo, just <laughs> flew away as Koa's like ah, 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 just chasing after them, and you're like, Koa, he's like, what? What? And then they get away, and he kind of looks a little sad. <laughs> it ruined his fun. We, All right, so did we're you make moving. The stretcher yeah. while that we're we're hustling. Yeah. We're okay, dragging. Have a stretcher. Yep, we're running. You're running. Well, no, you're not no, running. No. We're just it's dangerous. We're briskly walking. We're briskly walking. walking. <laughs> That's we as fast as we can. And Finley's in front, making sure we're good. I'm not dealing with the gas. Yeah. Yeah. Focusing on carrying the and getting there. I'm running a little bit around. So who's currently carrying uh, So me we're me. now on the path, briskly walking towards Oriander. Can I do like a check to see if there's any people around or other Petra Berries? You absolutely can. Okay. That would be a that would be perception. perception. Eleven. Okay. Um, you don't see any more berries. Okay. You do see about twenty minutes into your guys' walk. You see uh, what looks to be a woman walking towards you. Okay. She's probably about a quarter mile away. Woman. Uh, but you can kind of just <laughs> barely make out a little bit. Woman. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> We've stabilized her. If she's a, woman a doctor, herself, I guess, yeah, but why is she walking around like somewhere? Dude, I don't know. We, we don't, can talk to her. Morning? I'm not opposed yeah. to talking to her. Is it morning or the middle of the night? It's morning. It's okay. morning. Then Who she, has the highest being... persuasion? Persuade her into being a nurse. <laughs> Please. Negative one. Not I. Uh, so, are we going to approach just... this lady? No, yeah, I think well, we just I'm... keep going. No, just talk to her. Well, yeah, yeah. Do, well, we don't even, yeah, we just say, hey, blah, 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 maybe that's about it. All right, so I'm going to, like, jog ahead from the people carrying Phoebe and say hey to this lady. We're in a bit of trouble. Our friend got bit by a massive spider and we don't know what to do. Okay. Can you help us? Uh, you see a woman probably in her late 20s. She's got curled brown hair. She's wearing a green army style jacket, kind of like Tegan's. Um, she's got on some big uh, like black boots and is wearing a baseball cap back. She just goes, Frank got bit by a spider? Yeah, it's not good. We managed to heal the poison with a Petra Berry, but she has a very bad wound on her torso. She's like, yeah, that's, that's understandable. Are you you're headed towards Oriander? We are making way there now, yes. Okay. She's How much like, further is it? It's like, you guys could probably make it by mid-afternoon, but if you're carrying somebody, it might take a little longer. Yeah, that's kind of what we're worried about. Um, Any help that you could provide us? Any anybody that you know in town that we should go to once we get to town? She says, "Well, if you've got somebody who's wounded, Ansem kind of runs a field hospital." Ansem? Oh no, King Hearts just came in. <laughs> <laughs> a field hospital. A field hospital. It's not his. It's not his main gig. He runs the sort of ranch area. It's a it's a similar setup to Mitch and Terry. It's in town. And it is in town. Where in town? Uh it would be kind of in the center. It's if, it's like if you were to walk north of the center of town. Okay. We caught up with that. Okay. What's your name? Gina. Hi. What's what's Hi. your name? Who's the one that's her? Probably the, the burrito? Yeah, the burrito. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm just imagining you're sleeping. <laughs> Hello. Well, thanks for your help. I mean, we kind of have to book into town to save her, but... Yeah, she's like, yeah, don't, don't waste any time. Yeah. Good luck. Bye, Gina. Bye, Gina. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Like, bye, strange children. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with your spider bite. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Morgan. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Okay. I'm beatboxing. Do you have the energy? Serve your energy. Right now? Just keep this this is, yeah, she's keeping the mood up. I like this is it. a weird poison. <laughs> she's like, yeah, she's, she's delirious. She's tripping out. I mean, I did rub dirty water. and. <laughs> yeah, you're probably septic at this point. <laughs> She's like, I'm DJ Nupster. <laughs> <laughs> She's not doing well. No. So, right. about how far are we from town now? Um, Do we see it? Or? 
at probably about three or four in the afternoon, you guh Finally, see city gates on the horizon. Oh. So, someone want to run ahead? Yeah, I'll sprint ahead and try and find this handsome in the field hospital. And like see gates they are they're open? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All so right. Sure. It's uh, it's kind of like a big archway. That's his crack like is um, mortar going with you. Well, yeah, but he's in the open walls. So. Wow. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I'm gonna run ahead and try and get to this hospital and let yeah, them know you. that they have a case They've coming their way. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Prepare for that. Or come out and help us. <laughs> yeah. <Pray right. laughs> okay. Um, as you're heading in to Ori Anderson, the first thing you see is a massive four way crossroads. Um, there's a way that heads north, like east a, and west. Kind of like a big, big cross. Um, to the left, there's a singular house made of red bricks. And to the right is what looks to be a residential district that kind of follows a snaking road. Um, and a series of houses, each of which made out of wood. Um, heading straight ahead through town, you see what looks to be a small ranch. Um, and off to the left, you can see a, a wide array of different fruit trees. And then there's a path that branches off of that left path that heads up and branches again, off into just the distance. All right. Then we came from the south. Yeah. Then you came from the south. Yeah. So we came from the south, and then they said heading north. north to the center of town is where the field hospital is, so kind of towards that. Is branch. that the center of town? No, because we're just coming. Up. That crossroads you gather could be the center of town, but it's kind of hard to say having just. So regardless, we've seen a head or you can get in there. Right. So well, you can see the ranch, so... Just Isn't that Richard Perry? Perry? It's a field ranch, right? Field hospital. Said north yeah, like north is a ranch, west there's a red brick house by itself, along with some fruit trees, and then that has the path that deviates. Yeah. And then to the east, there's like a residential area with a bunch of houses, and they said earlier that on the southwest corner was where uh, Daniel and them lived. But I need to find the field yeah, they're, hospital. Yeah, it's they're, really they're the southwest border, yeah, so, so that's their north. house. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we know they're not going So just go home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need to yeah. find the hospital. Is basically the answer. Do I see the hospital? Uh, make a perception check. Boy, this is terrifying. We got this. Do I? Thirteen. Okay. Um, there's a little street sign that points. Uh, to the left it says Stetson Farms, so which would be to the west. Okay. Uh, to the north says Ansem's Ranch, and to the east says Residential District slash Rich and Terry. Yeah, I have that in here. I've got to get there. Basically, it says like the the Longhorn Stables. Yeah, so I'm gonna just sprint north to try and find Ansem at either his ranch or see the hospital at some point. Okay. Figure out where he is. A few people on the street kind of give you an odd look as this little boy just like sprints into town, looks like <laughs> rapidly around, sees a street sign, and just starts running north. But you make your way up to the the door of Anson's Hey, okay. Help. Help. <laughs> help. Help. Uh, you see... <laughs> help. Okay, you hear someone saying, I'm coming, I'm coming, hold your horses. And he sort of walks up to the door and he just looks out and he goes, Yes? Hi, <laughs> sir, Mr. Ansem, sir. We just need... Ansem. Okay. Ansem. Not Mr. Ansem. Got it. That's my father. I apologize. Uh, we're in a bit of trouble. Our friend Phoebe got bit by a large spider and she is. Large crazy. spider? Yes. And... Interesting. Bring her in. Okay. Well, I, I'll get her if you could maybe help me. I'll grab my things. Okay. Thank you. You just hear, like, the clanging of glass bottles and jars as he's just like, Oh, me, just a moment! And he's just sort of clanging everything together. You can hear the sound of, like, a backpack being zipped and unzipped feverishly. There's a variety of things just being thrown inside. Just awkwardly standing on his front porch. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. The rest of you have, at this point, made your way to the gates of Oriander City. They're kind of just holding the burrito that is Phoebe. You're just like, whoa. Um, you see... Uh, a dark-haired individual just sort of walk up to you. Go, 
Everything, everything okay? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, our friend got bit by a spider. Our burrito friend here got bit by an Arayados. Oh, you, you need to see Ansem. Yeah, yeah we're, 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 follow, follow me, I'll take Please, you there. And he, so he takes the... For lack of a better term, he kind of takes the reins on, on Phoebe's stretcher. He's like, give, yes. give your arms a rest. Thanks, thanks, man. Thanks, sir. He just sort of starts carrying you up towards uh, this sort of lone ranch house to the north of town, where you can kind of see Bentley sort of tapping his feet awkwardly outside. As you guys get closer, you can hear the clanging of pots and the occasional, yes, one moment! And you're like, oh, God. This is going to be fun. What is this? <laughs> As he sort of kicks the door over, he goes, Yes, where's your friend? Uh, right there. Hi! <laughs> oh! Hello! I'm, I'm Rap, I need to see the wound! So we put my You've been struck by a hurt. spider? Your bones hurt! Kind Fascinating! Of. I ate a pet <laughs> berry, it helped a little bit. Those are not for humans! Well, it kind of worked. <laughs> Fascinating. I'll need to study you later. <laughs> oh god, oh no. Very well, I'll let me see the wounds. Alright, well, okay, we'll so put her down. Yeah. Okay. You, you can kind of see just like bandages over the top of a sweatshirt. He goes, How big was this spider? It was an Ariados. Yeah. It was the hugest spider I've ever seen! I was told the size of a Prius. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's very large. Very well! And he just sort of like plops his backpack down. And he goes, you, help me. Yeah, okay. He goes, there's a small table inside. I need your help to bring it out. Okay, I sprint in, grab the small table. Okay, I hope like... it's the right small table. Okay. And then bring it out. You see just, like, the mess of his house. He's got, like, yes. three or four different tables just covered in different experiments, and there's one that seems to be pristine and clear. And you go, yes, that's the one. And you just start dragging it outside. And he goes, yes, that one, bring it, hurry. All right, so I bring it over and plop it down right next to... Our boy here. Okay, he goes, You, can you stand? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> he goes, That's not an answer. Right. Stand or sit? I'm standing. Okay, as you kind of stand up, you're like, oh, You can kind of feel the wounds starting to open again, so you kind of hold yourself up. Okay. So sit. <laughs> so sit. And he's like, Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> <laughs> you're the doctor. Is he? Takes out some small, like, surgical scissors and cuts the bandages off. And you can just see, like, with every heartbeat, your, uh, the wound just kind of goes... Oh, that's so gross. That's so gross. Still refusing to coagulate. It's been several hours. You're looking very pale at this point. Oh, boy. Oh, my. We haven't much time. He goes, have you... Do you have a sample of the venom? Yes. Yeah, Mm -hmm. we do, actually. Did not expect you to have that. You're, you you're just children, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe's smart. <laughs> he puts it into this small device. Phoebe, you recognize this as a, a centrifuge. But it's much smaller and like kind of janky, but it looks like it might get the, get the job done. As Even though I'm spinning. pale and dying, I'm really excited. <laughs> like, this is the best. Like, yeah. Yeah. Silence! 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 As he just sort of is <laughs> examining the wound. Putting a little bit of pressure and just watching his blood leak sound, he goes, oh, that won't do it all. And as the device is currently whirring into action, he's like, very hey, well, we have work to do. And he just takes out, like, it looks to be like a sponge. And he just starts of soaking up blood. And it hurts a lot. And you're like, oh, God. And it's like burning and burning. But you realize he's sterilizing your wound. And you can feel, like, it already feels cleaner and it doesn't hurt quite as bad as all the kind of just grime and muck from just Berry. getting out here just sort of mush berry getting out of there and he's like what did you put in here a berry <laughs> why why would you put a berry on this this is not how you clean a wound you children need education and proper medical care yes <laughs> please <definitely>. educate us <laughs> he's not wrong yes fair 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 fair, fair, fair. I, just, he... I just look at the ground <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> as he sort of cleans it up he's like alright we're going to wrap it again he goes you that Hold this! Hold this end! And he just hands you the end of some gauze, and he just starts, like, grabbing you, goes, Sit up, sit up, it's going to hurt. And he just kind of leans you forward, and he's like, oh. <laughs> he, he just sort of, like, wraps around you. As Milo's just awkwardly holding a bandage. <laughs> As you're sort of, like, wrapped up, the bleeding seems to be largely held at bay. And Ansem just goes, Very well, you're fine. Thank you all for your assistance. Thank what? you yeah. for doing all the work. 
I'm not kidding. Yeah. Don't eat berries. They're not for humans. <laughs> Next time you get poisoned, drink this. And he hands you a very small vial. Nice. It's clear liquid. Nice. Oh. Why are you holding out? Use it. How much do you have to use when you get poisoned? I have one thing or a little bit? I would go with the whole thing. Okay. I need a just in case. One time Why use. It's case? a one time use. Y'all, I just asked. One time use. Small vial. One time use, shrink the whole thing. Don't get poisoned again. Stop playing with spiders. <laughs> we didn't play with them, we were attacked! Is- Ansel, is there a, a Pokemon Center here, or are you the Pokemon Center? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'm one of them. There's another one closer in the center of town. Uh, Are you comfortable with Pokemon, or should I take them to the other? I love Pokemon. Okay, okay can you heal all Please of us? Please help Violet. She also has a giant and Mortar, who has been injured since Easter. Was <laughs> only because, one because one I don't know what that is. is. <laughs> well, no, very well. It means a long time. <laughs> he goes. Oh, you're also poisoned. I don't suppose you have another pet berry, do you? No, you made the whole thing for yourself, didn't you? <laughs> very selfish. <laughs> He goes, very well, I'll be right back. Panicked. He walks inside, just starts throwing things out of a cupboard. William's eyes just go wide. He's like, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> really, I'm away. William, put him in his Pokeball! Yeah, you better keep that boy in check. It's gonna ruin As William just sort of scampers up to the door, he goes, no, no, I know your kind. And he goes, sort of sheepishly backs away. He goes, play with this. And he hands him a spoon. <laughs> and William's just sort of like, just banging it on the wall, he goes, He goes, Here you go, little one. And he hands, uh, he hands Violet a pet berry. He goes, Eat the whole thing. No, don't be stingy. <laughs> Violet is no longer poisoned. The wound also sort of cleans up. Yeah. Uh, but it is a little bit healed from the Oran berry. He's like, Do you have any berries you could give her? Uh, I did, but it did next to nothing. But we do have uh, a couple more. Probably not. Rest its pride. But, oh. Oh. Have an inspiration makes sense. Gives us incentive not to save those. So Correct. should we just smoke like, them all you got? Yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> but just Do you know yeah. about this bear? I'm gonna show him the starburst oh. berry. Oh, I haven't given oh, yeah. it back to you. I have it. Here we go. Can you tell us about the berry? Do you know anything about this? this that's a sweet that you know. Yes, I know everything about this berry. Oh, so what is it? It would have healed her. He goes, it's called a star berry with two R's. Very, very poisonous berry. You Just are never to kidding. eat this. You are not to eat this. Is, does it have any use? Typically, it's designed for use in combat for professional battles. They would have their Pokemon hold on to the berry, and if another Pokemon were to steal that berry and eat it to try to gain the effect, Poison the attack. So it just poisons whoever eats it? Yes. I more than anything want to go to Mitch and Terry yeah. and get my. Ansem says, oh, come back next time to poison me. Stop eating right. berries! Yeah. Yeah. I know, why didn't you get that off on your own? Well, let's first go to the Pokemon Center because I was carrying them, so I wasn't like an option. Yeah. Well, that, oh, William yeah, sort of walks up to you and holds a spoon out. What happened to the dude that helped you carry her in? You guys can talk to her. I'm out of No, what happened to the guy that helped carry her in with us? Oh, just like drop her and leave? He kind of, yeah, he basically in the confusion was just like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Ansem's kinda like town crazy. I like Ansem. I'm all about Ansem. He's he's like a necessary evil for the town. They're like, <laughs> we don't really like him, but like he does good he does good work. Alright, well I'm gonna follow Milo to Mitch and Terry's. Yeah, okay. I'm slowly. Okay. I'm pit stopping at the Pokemon Center because I need to be a mortar. He's still not healed for days after the fact. Okay, well I'll go with Ben Ruthane so that it doesn't Is the festival still going on? Uh, oh, yeah. not currently. You gather, it might just be that it's morning time. Yeah. It might be like an evening time thing. Uh-huh. Or it's like early afternoon. Decorations yeah. are still up. Yeah. yeah. There's still some like, some streamers and some like lanterns kind of strung across in between the houses. <laughs> cool. So, have I gotten to the Pokemon Center with Tegan at this point? Have we found it? Sure. Okay. So you found it. It's a, so, it's a big building with a giant bright red roof. Yeah, I just want to find. I want to heal up more. Because he hasn't been at that in like two days. 
Okay. And, uh, so at a Pokemon facility, are there like tons of trainers and other Pokemon and stuff going on? <laughs> Typically, yeah. It's okay, where it's so, where people go to recuperate. Uh, well, then I'm just gonna start wandering because I'm in awe of like all these different Pokemon that I've seen, so I kind of just start wandering through. Okay. The area. Um, doing as you wander through, you see like a small gray, it looks like a, almost like a child, but it's like super buff. Ooh. And it's like just rippling with muscles, and it's got like a little, three little fins on its head, and it just kind of looks at you and goes like... <laughs> and its trainer just sort of looks at you and just goes, hey. What's up? What kind of Pokemon is this? It's Machop. Mama Machop? Machop. This is Machop. 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 This is Machop. This is Machop. What up? This is Machop. What's his what? name? Machop. Machop. No, no, his actual name. Oh. He goes, what do you mean, what's his name? Does he have a name? Did you his name's Machop. <laughs> Alright, nice to meet you. He's like, yeah, you too. Um, Machop's just sort of sitting there, kind of like, he looks like he's raring to go. He's just kind of bouncing back and forth on his feet. Can I have him? <laughs> he goes, no. You took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> he goes, no, this is my machop. Oh. You Where'd you find him? him? He goes, I brought him with me. From I'm where? visiting. From where? He goes, I'm from Kanto. I'm from Kanto? No, Johto. Oh, Johto. Yeah. Hold on, check the rest. Let me check the record. Two different kinds. So I, I walk up behind Tegan and just kind of watch this conversation <laughs> go south. <laughs> How many paper clips do you have? Yeah, okay, it takes it takes paper about paper. thirty minutes for the Pokemon Center to do its thing. About thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay. So so it is it is free. It just takes time. While they're healing mortar, I'll walk over to them. What did your Pokemon do? Fight. He's what a, kind of Pokemon? He's a fighting type. Fight. Is that thing? Yep. Yeah. He's literally like, he's a fighting type. When you when you like lay it out like that, it sounds really dumb. But yeah. <laughs> he's a fighting type who fights. He fights. Uh, He's like, mostly we just train. Well, so you're here to train? Yeah. Nice. You're here by yourself? Yeah. Do you have any other Pokemon? No, just the chat. Uh, this is hi, my Pokemon. I'm, I'm, like, I'm Bentley. This is like, hi. Don't, don't mind him. This is my Pokemon color. He's like, I've never seen that before. What is that? It's a rock rock. Isn't he so cute? Yeah. <laughs> He's real cute. You want to you wanna fight? Nah, I don't know. Do I? It's up to you. You're out of trouble on Saturday, so it's not like, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if he, if, he, if he gets exhausted, you can just get him up real quick, it's free. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just if you want to try out a trainer battle. What's that, what, what does that do? You literally just fight this Pokemon with color. Yeah, the winner gets money. It's a one-on-one -on -one uh, for money. Sure. He's like, yeah, we'll battle. Snack. Sure. Go I'll snack. buy in? Yeah. Do I, have, do I have enough money to do that? You have like seven dollars. Okay, so, so I have barely. So five is like most of your money. Let's go. Okay. You gotta win this battle. Oh, shit. Right. He, goes, he goes, yeah, let's head out. Bentley, yeah. give me some tips. Roll well. <laughs> no, uh, In the real world, world here. Yeah. I, Before we fight, what's your name? He goes, I'm Gil. Gil. Hey, Gil. I'm Bentley. I think I've already introduced you and Tegan. Sorry, I was just going to answer the question. But yeah, I'm excited to watch this battle. Yeah. Uh, he goes, yeah, let's head up to the to the courtyard. Let's, let's cool. go down. Let's do it. Cool, let's do it. Courtyard? All right. I don't know what this means, but this is my first battle, so yeah. this will be fun. He goes, first battle. First. Wow. All right, well, it's an honor. May the best Pokemon win. Sure. He takes you out to a courtyard. It's a 40-foot wide, just arena-style setup. There's a big circle in the middle. It kind of looks like a wrestling team. Okay. Um, if at any point your Pokemon is pushed out of the ring or knocked out, you lose it out. They're gonna start 20 feet apart from each other. Go ahead and roll initiative for Koa. 12. 12. Alright. So Machop is going first. Alright. So Machop is gonna close the gap all the way. All the way. And Machop's gonna go for a push. Alright. So you're gonna roll a strength check for Koa. Is that still 20? Yeah. It is still 27. Next. So, uh, 18. 18. Plus 18. 20. You got a oh. 17. So as he runs no, into no, push. No, I got 19. Oh, 19. So as he runs into push, kind of going just for a shove, he kind of locks with, with Koa's head and he just pushes back further. So go ahead and knock the shot back five feet. Oh, That's these it. are five? Yeah. Yep, yeah. five foot squares. And now it is Koa's go. Um, I'm gonna go for a tackle then. Okay, so go so ahead and close, close the, gap. the gap and then go for, go a tackle. for the damage. Uh, 
Uh, natural, natural 20. 20. Natural 20. Oh, let's so go. Ahead and, so go ahead and roll your d6 for your damage. Double it. A 12. Plus and then two. and then add your modifier. So 14. 14. 14. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Cole is not messing around right now. Oh my god. Woo! After oh. seeing that whole spider battle, like that's, a, rough, yeah. that's a big hit. Cole's so, like, as Machop goes in for the push and Rockruff sort of throws him back, he sort of staggered off kilter and Koa sees his moment and runs in, whack, right to the right to the stomach. Still really hard muscle, but Koa's like really sharp rock and just whack. As Machop's like, yeah, that he's gonna go in for a, a karate chop. That is a natural 20. Oh, oh god. god. These guys are throwing hamburgers at each other. <laughs> this is no joke. That is... The Machop was trying Uh-oh. to feel things Uh-oh. out. That's bad. Oh, no. That is 14 points of damage. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. As the Machop just threw back for a crack. Damn. As Koa just... Stars in the eyes. Oh, Have Koa wow. make a constitution saving throw. Maybe. 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 So whatever his constitution Koa? is. There comes another natural 20. It's the third one. Plus one. You got this. Twenty. <laughs> Four. Five. Five. Okay. Um, Koa tries to hold it in there for you, but just can't quite, and just sort of slumps yes. down. Bye. Bye. Five dollars. <laughs> no. That was so intense. Oh, yeah. For like the two, two seconds. For two seconds. Yeah. That was insane. That was wild. Jeez. All right, Gil goes. That was a good fight. Your your little guy. It's real hard. Machop and I have been training for weeks, and you gave him quite the hit. Well done. He's like, keep keep your money. That battle was worth it. Thanks. Hey. Yeah, thanks. That Dude. was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they so, still were poor. There's a, no, at this point, I have no money. So at this point, a small crowd has gathered around, and there's uh there's this young girl who's sitting. She's got a butterfree on her head. She's just what a what. A butterfree. Yeah. That was a crazy fight. So, hey Gil, do you have any uh, gym badges with Machop? He goes, no, no, that's what we're training for. We're nowhere near ready. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, do you know what the next gym is? The first gym? He goes, closest one from here is probably in Alluvia. Yeah, it's yeah. a couple days walk. Okay. Do you know anything about yeah. that gym that like, you're training for? He goes, that... I know is that gym leader apparently uses flying types, so my job and I have a lot of work to do. Oh, okay. I want to go over and talk to... Who are you? The butterfly. Tell me about your butterfly. Oh, she's like, this is my butterfly. His name is Maggie. Maggie. What's your name? She goes, my name is also Maggie. Oh, <laughs> easy. It's an easy way to remember your... <laughs> she goes, my name is Margaret, and her name is Magdalene, but we're both Maggie. Maggie <laughs> and Maggie. Saying. So cute. Maggie and Maggie. She goes, I got Maggie? it from my brother. How old she goes, are you? I'm five. Oh, where is your brother? He's in the Pokemon Center. Can I have him? She's like, what? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> what happened to your brother? She's and so Tegan cute. was arrested for pedophilia. <laughs> She's so cute. Said he's in the in the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I know. What's he? Where are you guys here? Are you from here? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go back in the Pokemon Center and get Mortar, assuming that he's healed post battle. Mm-hmm. Okay. At that point, we're gonna jump to YouTube. Yeah, he's so amazing. Yeah, I'm heading towards that. Uh, for, for heading towards that's where we're gonna take it. Okay. Yeah, I. Yeah, I. Um, you arrive at a big, a big sign that says Longhorn Stables. Sweet. Um, and you can see. <clears throat> You see, like a sort of middle-aged man. He's got a little bit of gray in the, in the scruff of his beard, just like a little touch of gray in the hair as well. Otherwise, the rest of it's like jet black. Um, and he's just sort of working away. He's got on some big, like kind of millworking gloves, um, and he's currently uh, brushing down a Tauros. Um, and you can see someone you presume to be Terry. Um, it's a slightly older woman. Um, she's got dark brown hair with just a, just a streak of gray. Um, starting to lose that color up top. Um, and she's wearing very similar gloves and like kind of a large, sort of like, not quite overalls, but like a big rubber suit that she's currently milking in. And you see on the roof of the f- of uh, their stables, you do see mine. He's just Yay. sort of sitting there going like, Money. and he sort of flits down to you. And he's like, Whoa. and he sort of flits down, gives you a big hug. Yeah, Monty, you did it. 
You did it, buddy. I'm s I'm, I'm over the moon right now. I'm so happy. We had the, the toughest journey getting yeah. you here, but you can see in uh, Mitch's back pocket is your letter. Yay! Um, and he goes, I take it you're Milo. I am. Are you Mitch? I'm Mitch. This is my wife Terry. And she kind of looks up and goes, Hello, and it just keeps uh, milking the milk. It is a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> he walks over, takes his glove off, and, and shakes your hand. He goes, yeah, we got your, we got your little friend coming in. It's always good to see, see some, uh, some practicing birds in our pigeons. That's Sometimes awesome. those things are so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I can attest to that. Yes. Um, thank you for hosting him for a little bit. Um, oh, he's no problem. He just stayed up on that roof and looked for you. Awesome. I'm so <laughs> pumped. Uh, we're training him to actually become the first male murkrow. Male delivering micro. I yeah. thought about Mail. that, but you know what? He seems yeah, smart yeah, enough yeah. for it. Not the first. Micro. <laughs> Male genitalia. Um. <laughs> it's a real anomaly. We've had a, a really tough journey getting here, so I'm sorry that it, it, it might have taken a little longer, but um, we met uh, Daniel and his family. I oh, yeah, that, Daniel's great. Yeah, really? I put that in the letter. Um, and he told us to come meet you guys when we came into town. Yeah, yeah, of course he did. He's, he's always thinking ahead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was very <laughs> yes. He's a very helpful guy. He, he loves he loves being out there helping people. He is. Um, so what do you guys do here? He goes, well, I I run the, the Toros rentals. Uh, we work kind of as a taxi service. We'll send you where you want to go a little bit quicker than on foot. A little bit safer, too. Things tend to not mess with Toros. For sure. Uh, and if they do, they get the horns. Is that, that old <laughs> saying goes. And he said, and Terry leans around and goes, and I uh, I run the milk tank side of things. We uh, we produce and sell the milk. Um, it's, it's got some healing properties. And, uh, <laughs> we also... Uh, we do foster out milk tanks. Do you foster them? Foster them? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? She goes, well, we've got some that are young them, that need to be looked after and that need to sort of see the world before they they come back to us. Remember, I cut your eyes. Remember, I claimed your eyes. Oh, man. That's good thing about it. Now, did she say she wanted milk tanks? Uh, well, that is... Uh, amazing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I sprinted here to make sure that Monty made it okay. Um, I really want to go grab the rest of my group and and come back and, and introduce you guys if that's okay. He goes, sure, sure thing. Okay, we'll be right we'll back. Be here. We'll be right back. He goes, it was lovely to meet both of you. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll we'll head back towards the the center of town. Okay, um, you guys can kind of hear what sounds like a very short and raucous battle going on um, just behind the Pokemon Center. Of just like people going oh oh oh, <laughs> and then it's kind of just over. And you're like, what? what's going to be a battle? That was interesting. <laughs> it could be the festival. It could be, but. Uh, it ain't. Really gone. <laughs> yeah. uh, why would the festival have happened? I don't know. I don't even know if the festival is. As you guys sort of true. get closer to the back of the, the Pokemon Center, you can see just like a very small crowd, probably like six or seven people. Uh, you see Tegan looking a little bit winded and kind of kind of downtrodden, and this other guy, kind of like a, a rough bodybuilder type dude, kind of high-fiving his Machop as Ko is just sort of down for the count. Did you just battle that guy? Did. Okay. And I lost. But it was sick. <laughs> like, five seconds. Cool. Co did good. Nice. And he let me keep my money. Because we broke. <laughs> I'm curious if that'll ever happen again. Sounds Just like crit, crit, and battle. <laughs> Let's do it again! <laughs> that was crazy. That was... I feel like y'all need to have a rematch at some point. In the yes. Future, Before was, we leave, Gail, was... you want a rematch? It's like, yeah, you want to heal How up long? and, and back out? How long are you here for? It's like, well, I'm... I got nothing going on. We're just training, so. Okay. We'll be back. Two oh, birds with one left. Um, guys, I got Monty back. Yay! He's back again. Um, first successful, successfully delivered letter. Uh, we did meet Mitch and Terry. Um, they do have Tauros that we can ride, and they say will help us get to where we need to go without um, walking danger. Nice. Uh, and then they also have. Um, Milk tanks there, but they 
um, want people to foster and give more worldly experience. I want. <laughs> you want one? Yeah, let's go talk to Terry. Yeah, I came I want back one. to get you guys. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I'm still in the Pokemon Center. So well, she's got a heal Koa. Yeah, yeah. Koa. So yeah, so we'll, we'll just hang out there until you're done. And then we'll, well, bring Koa in to heal him, right? Yeah, and then, and then so we'll wait. Um, we'll wait for everyone to get healed. I want to ask whoever is heading up this Pokemon Center. There's Joy, perhaps. One of them. <laughs> uh, so I understand that to the west of Oriander City, there is a trail that branches off into two trails. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so where do those forks in the road lead to, and what are those route names? The western road is Route 102. Yes. That will send you to Green Gate. Yep. And then 103. The eastern one is 103. That will send you to Olympia. Okay. Good night. Good night. Uh, Green Gate's about uh, twice as far. Yeah. About twice as far? Yeah. <laughs> on foot, Green Gate's about a week's walk. Um, Alluvia, you could do it in probably about three days. Okay, so a, for young adventurers, it would make sense to go to Alluvia. First. Yeah, the, the road to sure. Greengate is like notoriously difficult from Oriander City. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what is that from it? somewhere else, probably? Yeah. Um, so there is an easier route known as Route 109. Uh, so, also, too, what do you know about Stetson Farms? Oh, they, uh, oh. they produce a Stetson variety of different fruits and berries. No, let's we'll see. Oh. He goes, oh, they provide they provide and nurture um, a bunch of fruits and berries. Um, they use a unique style of Pokeball that doesn't require a Pokemon to be ever in capsule. Um, it's known as the Dominus. Um, it is it is an ankle bracelet that serves essentially as a Pokeball, but it allows more freedom. Oh. See, it's a food. So, do they have like a bunch of different Pokemon on the farm that just kind of roam free? Or? Is, yeah, they usually employ Aquans because they're more dexterous, um, but they do have a variety of others. Understood. Thanks for that information. I appreciate like that. It's like the most intuitive and for real. That's yeah, but that doesn't explain why, why he was so like... Robotic. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. absolutely. Like, you take orders. They're doing something else. The way that this lady explained it sounds very different from what we've done. Yes. Yeah. Should we tell her about that? But also the same. Oh. I don't know, man. I don't think so. we're going to keep that to ourselves. Yeah. 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 I don't want to die. I just wanted to gather some more information and see what people in town Good think job. of it. But yeah. it seems like yeah. they are not as... Well, yeah, freaked out by the name Stetson Farms as we are. Well, yeah, is Stetson Farms like your money maker for the town? Uh, she goes, it's, it's one of them. It's a big, big tourist trap. They like to go see the, the farm and watch the acorns for the food. So are these Dominus alternate Pokeballs popular or gaining traction? Or uh, mostly just at Stetson Farms. Um, there are a few kind of richer types of experimented with them. But they're not really gaining traction. Pokeball's a lot more accessible. You can't really just go down to a mart and just pick up a dominance. Truth. Alright. S-T-E-T-S-O. Trade your amber Pokeball for a dominus, and then you save that for the critical moment. Strap that thing on a legendary. Do you know, just do anything other than just a wild and sleeps. Uh as far as anybody outside of Stetson Farms would know. Uh -huh. no. But so, from what you guys have seen, clearly there's something else. Are they. Are they it's just like <laughs> public knowledge, and as far as people know, it's they're like, oh yeah, it's just a replacement Pokemon. It allows more freedom, it keeps the Pokemon, the Pokemon from being the Pokemon capsule. Just, like, it allows them to be outside. Okay, we should go with it. Yeah, I think so too. Well, let's go to the ranch first. Yeah, we gotta go talk yeah. to Mitch and Terry soon. Okay. I say prioritize ranch. You can Everybody's figure healed? out maybe fostering a milk tank. Yeah. Cool. Is there anyone else okay. in my journal? Oh, like, like, uh, there's like a handful of people. Just there. Just, yeah. yeah. More or less. Um, at that point, you do hear Tegan. I have Koa for you. Perfect. And Koa's like, woo! 
and just sort of runs over and jumps in your arms. Is it is Chansey the assistant? Yes. There's there's a big kind of like <laughs> massive pink egg shaped creature that just sort of walks up holding Cohen, just like What is this thing? Called a Chansey. Is that one? <laughs> yeah, Nubster's feeling right at home. He's like, we're back. On a smaller scale. I just so, want to reiterate before this conversation begins that it's the word foster. Yeah, so it's, I don't get to keep it. I I got it. Is there a mark? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, unless you want to adopt it. It's cool and money. You get some stuff in the market. Are we still... Well, are, cool, are, are we asking, like, who are we asking questions to right now? Yeah. Uh, just we were talking the to employee of the yeah. Pokemon Center. Yeah. Right, so but let's first, go find... Yeah. But first... There's a list. Lead the way, sir. Uh, Hashtag first. first. I'm going to get a mail today. So we're going to we're gonna walk back to the center of town. There are the crossroads. Yes. We go to the house on the corner of Brick One, which is David's house. Yep. Um... I'm gonna leave a letter, which I can write right now if you want, for them, um, with her, with uh, Jess's watch, because we still have her watch. William. Um, William! So, you sticky fingers. Do you want me to write it out, or do you want me to just tell it to you and I'll write it later? Yeah, you can. Yeah, just write it later, but yeah. good yeah, call to write it later. Right. Yeah. the pocket watch. So, yeah, sure, William Sorry. <laughs> meandering into the mailbox. Essentially, the, the crux of it is I want to put the watch in there with the letter saying, like, sorry, William, still a thanks for all your help. Also, Jess, those berries are super poisonous. Wait, should we save some berries? Their mom's there? Is she in the she's a lawyer. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I got to go figure it out. Uh, continue writing my letter, telling the Jess that uh, the berries are super poisonous. Did she, did she have more than one of those? She had a whole bushel of them. Yep. Get her one. Oh. She didn't know what they did. Yeah. So we can tell her what they do now. Yeah. Uh, super poisonous do not eat, but this is what they're used for typically. And here's your watch. Sorry about that. Also, thank you. Hi, Lyle. Hope everything is uh, is doing well. Um, Can I put like a PS? Yes, we got I to tell you about to... this battle that we had with these. Yes. Let's just Curious put that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Ko, I had a crazy battle with no, 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 the chop. No, no, no. no, no, no the spider. The spider. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, so he likes definitely. Insects. Yeah. Uh, we you know, we got a battle with the We almost died, it was awesome. <laughs> and an Aridos, and, and Phoebe was bit, but we made it here and we're okay now. I had a different experience. Uh, <laughs> I had the easy experience. I woke up and then I went to sleep again. And then I woke up covered in my own blood. <laughs> As you guys head back up towards Mission Terry's, you see the, uh, the sort of grizzled frame of, of Mitch, who's got the, the slight gray scruff. Um, and his little touch of gray and the jet black hair. And he turns back and goes, That's, That's Milo and his friends! Welcome back! Hey! We're Hello. back! Um, Hi! Nice to meet you. This is Bentley, this is Tegan, and then I don't remember if Phoebe was here last time. That's Phoebe. Hi! He goes, <laughs> he goes oh, It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Yeah, likewise. I hear that you foster mill tanks. <laughs> Terry goes, Yes, I do. I've got a bunch. I would we like just to had a do new that. litter. I'd like to do that. Yeah, yeah, I'd like for foster work. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. I would, I'm telling her <laughs> my get interest. To it. <laughs> She'll I'm get saying I am interested. I so, what it. is the conditions? I don't know anything about this Pokemon. Can you tell me some backstories? Yeah. What do she I goes, get out of it? Basically, they're little. I have little mill tank calves right now. Okay. I need them to reach maturity. But I'd like them to see the world first. I don't want them to just grow up on the farm and. Perfect. I We're find that they're adventure. healthier when they're out on adventures. Nice. So if you want to take one, basically you go raise it, and when the time comes that it's it's ready to produce milk, you bring it back to me. I raise it? What does that mean? You it's take care pet. of it, keep it alive. Okay. It means you raise show it. it. Okay. Show it the world. And <laughs> it means it's your child. And at the end of a... Long well, enough adventure, you, you bring them home. So. But I meant like, do do I need to have them do battles? Do I need them to do stuff like that? Or am I just raising them so that they can produce milk as for the farm? As far as battling is up to you. Okay. Uh, but we just need them to reach maturity and see the world. What's the cost? No cost. Oh, shit. We just need you You're to... You're performing a service. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can I do that? She goes, well, you're, you're a bit younger than our usual clientele, but... But yeah, you seem you seem like trustworthy folk. We'll help her. All so right. She goes. By all means, would you like to meet them? Yeah. Uh, yes. Now you get to pick one. Yes. She goes, all right, wait right here. Yes. She walks. Like I can't. Oh, we can't go with her. We can't see all. Well, well, no, she's, she's gonna, gonna bring, bring out. Oh yes. Oh, there's gonna be like twelve of them. I want to roll on the ground. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she comes back a few minutes later holding three little baby little baby cows and is just like, here we go. And she kind of sits them down and they're all kind of struggling to walk and they like kind of sidle up to your feet and they're like, <laughs> one of them just kind of flops onto its back in front of you and is like, Terry, can I have all are, of them? Are can there can any, we like, all take one? Hang on, are there any like physical differences between the three? Yes. Uh, one of them is uh, not spotted but striped. Mm. One of them is like super speckled. Ooh. And one of them has kind of a more cow like spot type. Speckled. Yeah. Oh. Um, one of them is a deep, like the one with the stripes is a deep, uh, deep pink, kind of like a fuchsia. Uh, the one with speckles is kind of like light pink. And the one with the normal uh, cow-like spots is like almost brown. You could have Koa help you pick. Yeah, can I do that? Have, I have guess Koa I don't get up to ask you. Koa, come on, sniff them. Yeah. Which one do you like most? Koa kind of walks up to the the little the little uh, fuchsia one with the stripes and kind of nudges it and it's like... <laughs> and it kind of falls <laughs> over and Koa just kind of writes him, uh, sets him back up. That was um, a boy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, actually, they're all they're all female. Female, but, uh, okay. no, they're all females. They're gonna be milk. <laughs> I imagine they're like sisters. Yeah, it fine. can't be a boy, can it? If they're milk. No, that's go, the boys are milk a boy. Okay. You can't like, like, milk a boy. Well. Well. <laughs> well. Okay. Well. That's for all you children watching. <laughs> and we're done here. Okay. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Look at that. Oh my God. Koa seems the most attached to the one with the stripes. Okay. But. The final choice is up to you. Which one do you like the most? Which one does he like the least? I mean, so no. it was the, there was the little, the little brownish one with spots is kind of like really struggling to stand and keeps just sort of tipping over. They're so cute! Yeah. They're so cute! <laughs> what you, is, what color is the speckled one, one again? The speckled one, one is like a light pink. Kind of like, like a typical milk. Oh, I guess yeah. that's true. No, I'll, I'll, I'll let you take one. Well, I meant like there's three and we can all take one. Uh, well, not all. I don't all think we have enough responsibility yeah, that's yeah. three baby cows. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Yeah, um, that's true. So well, Tegan's going to take a few, <laughs> probably hours, hours. To, to get to know oh, no. these three baby milk tanks and kind of the ins and outs of milk tank care. Foster bill. What are the rest of you doing? Don't tell me that. Um, <laughs> No fair. So we take them all. Are we walking to Stetson Farms? Do you want to do that? Yeah, I want to see. I have. Can we can we see a shop real quick? Can we just go yeah. to a shop? Into a mart? I have eight dollars. I just want to see. Eight dollars. <laughs> <what they're laughs> yeah. Eight dollars. So where is there a mart relative to everything? Uh, right next door to the Pokemon Center, as is as is tradition. To the left. Uh, right to the left of it. As of course. Tradition. Tradition. As of course is tradition. How much money did we start with? Um, it's different. Than yeah. Depending. Bentley started with fifteen. Cause he got rich parents. Phoebe started with ten. Milo started with eight. CJ, I don't believe, started with any money. He has rocks. <laughs> CJ started with rocks. I'm at Carbs to look like pennies. <laughs> I have in my notes that I'm at 17 because I won 17. the battle with Lyle. Yep. Suck this brick. I owe you money. <laughs> I started with 10 and I gave Lyle two. I only have seven, right? <laughs> yeah, you have seven. Okay. CJ flicks a booger and says this should cover it. Ew. I ain't worried about shit. I don't need nothing. I got my rocks. Okay. Um, typical going rates at a mart. Mart. Yes. Pokeballs run typically depending on what town you're in. Here they'd run you five. Christ. Potions will run you ten. Christ. Oh, God. Antidotes, uh, paralysis heals, burn heals, those will each run you twenty a piece. Damn. Mm. Um, that is all that this store sells. Pretty good there. Yeah. Do they buy stuff? I don't really want to buy any. They haven't yet. No, like I mean, does the store? Can I can I sell them stuff? Oh, can you sell stuff? Yeah. yeah. Do you have something to sell? Rock. Can I sell my mangled what tent? What does CJ <laughs> that have to sell? Turned into a stretcher. I was gonna use for crash, but I might just buy a bunch. What's of What's an amber ball? The one that I stole from. The people who were trying to catch Crash. So an Amber Ball is what the Woods family produces? Oh, that's It's a special kind of Pokeball? Huh? Save it. Uh, wanna, yeah, probably. Wanna, I have no money. I don't buy anything. CJ doesn't uh, have any money. I have no money. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm going to come across Do you take I rocks want, as currency? The guy just goes, no. That'd I'll be leave. half my money. <laughs> uh, I might... battle people. I might buy a Pokeball. 
It's up oh. to you. It's my money. I need it now. I mean, I have 17. It would be five, putting me at 12, and then I would be up to four Pokeballs, which I feel like is a pretty substantial amount if I'm at a team member and have some crap rolls. Yeah. Why we all? All right, I'll buy a single Pokeball for five buffer rubies. Go ahead and mark it down. Yep. Five fish skellies. Yep. Five fish skellies. Bamune. Okay. Should we go check out uh, the farm and just as as tourists? Yeah, I say we head there while Tegan looks up pictures of Miltank for the next 900 years. <laughs> How big is Stetson Farms? Stetson Farms is a 30-acre stretch. It's a oh. big-ass fucking farm. Do they export the berries? As far as you're aware. Maybe we can get some free samples of berries. Well, I want to go Frick, with yeah. you guys Let's to go. the farm, though. Big. All right. Okay. Well, well we can wait on you. Yeah. And then so has it been a couple out. hours after they how went shopping? We'll say it depends how far you want to skip ahead. Well, then you... let's. I have a couple other questions for the shopkeeper if you want to buy yeah. a couple more minutes and make okay. it a little That's more right. realistic. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, is the festival still going on? It goes. Yeah, festival starts uh, every every night at sundown. At sundown, how, sundown. like all night? Jeez. Pretty much, yeah. Dang, what do you guys like do? Yeah, what's We're out of town. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine because it's it's basically it's just a big rain. parade celebration oh, yeah. of uh, Taurus and Milk Tank because they're kind of a built town. Hang on, I can't. Hang on, guys, I can't hear Drew. Say it again, Drew. Said it's a it's a big kind of like parade celebration of Taurus and Milk Tank. They're sort of the backbone of the town. Their taxi service and the milk that they provide and can export to other towns basically built Oriander City. So is it pretty much like just Mitch and Terry's Taurus and Miltank, or does like everyone in the town have one? No. Uh, Ansem has a few. Um, there's a couple other ranchers in the town. Okay. Yeah. That's gotcha. it's a big ranch town. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Well, that's all I have. I just wanted to find out more about that. <laughs> Do people ride on them? Or do they just pray through? Uh, typically they'll hold up like, this sounds weird, but like effigies in them. Kind of like oh, pinatas like kind of, and be like, hey, yeah, <laughs> we built this city. They kind of like hoist them up. Uh, so not like real Tauros and Mil Tank. they're like Tauros and Mil Tank inspired. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they sell like hats and shirts and stuff. Sick. Hats and shirts. It's a big tourist trap. Oh, sick. Okay. <laughs> That's why Daniel got the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people. I right. might buy a milk and cat. No. <laughs> you should. It'd be super cute. God. Milk hat. All right. So are All we right. heading the two milk things that like come yeah, out? Yeah. Like you can drink, drink out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just supply you with two milk. big teats just slapping around your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh That'd my so god. Real. Oh my god. Can we make that? And he has to wear it every <laughs> session. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 He's so great. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just Can a bowl love, of milk on his head. No. It works perfectly. Oh, god. I would drink milk out of it like during um, the session. I believe you. Okay, we'll pack. That would work All so right. well for you. Um, so, uh, how's the interaction? Yeah, let's go see. We're now house. heading back to you yeah. with the milk. To get the, okay. yeah. So we can go over to the farm and look yes. at those things. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's you, your status? You and Ko are getting along best with the fuchsia stripes okay. and the bright pink speckles. Um, the the little the littlest one that that kind of brown one who hasn't really got its colors in yet is you're kind of like you're just too much of a liability. If I took you on the road, you could barely stand. Um, but the other two are able to kind of stand up. Koa is sort of riding both of them as they start kind of like tipping, and leaning over. But is he gravitating to either of them? It seems like he's more attached to the fuchsia with the stripes. Okay, then let's go that Tegan. way. You should ask if they already have names. Oh yeah, do they have names? No, that's for you. Oh, okay. yes. That's for you to choose. Pick it. Uh, they kind of like get a little stupid. legacy. And she kind of points to this little book of like, yeah, whenever the mill tanks come back, they'll have, we kind of take down the trainer who raised them and the name of the mill tank, how long they were together. We sort of keep records of that. How many names are in that book? Can I, uh, yeah, can I look at that book? She goes, for confidentiality reasons, no. Uh, oh. but, but we do keep a record of it. Can you, like, if you can't show me the names, are like how many people, yeah, how many yeah. Miltanks have you successfully uh, She's bought? like, well, if you look at that shelf, and there's hey, a shelf William. of just books, and it William. just shows Steal a range of months oh, okay. how are we for here? a series of years. Okay. Steal this book. Goodness. It'll say, like, 
a lot. Basically, it'd be like January 2017. Oh. 2017. So are you adding strike? When did this? When did this? Uh, this, this farm start. Uh, Mitch and Terry have been there for about 30 years. But I'm speaking but, to Terry uh, oh, generally. Yeah. Like, say, we've, how long have you been here? We've been here about 30 years. Uh, the town itself kind of grew up around Ansem's ranch. Uh, he's been here, I don't even know how long. I couldn't tell you. I don't know how old that man is. <laughs> 70 years. Is there cool. a lot of like, like digging or rock stuff around here? Digging or uh, rocks? Yeah, I mean, like, what's that? Uh, like, uh, I guess I don't really know where I'm going with this. Um, I don't really Neither do you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I'm going to skip through that because I um, don't know how to word it. Word the question. Yes, okay. I'm going to. Okay. Kind of go, yeah, no, yep. no rock stuff really going on. No rock or deep and stuff. So, did you. Uh, Foster the stripe and fuchsia. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna do the one that he's most comfortable with. Okay. Does it have a name yet, or are you? No, gonna... I haven't thought okay. of it. All right, yet. Terry sort of goes. All right, we'll get the paperwork. Your name's Tegan. Correct. You have a surname. McKinley. Okay. She writes it down in the little book, and she goes, and you let us know. Could be, could be in a number of years when you bring this this little one back to us. But you let us know what his name is or her name. are now the proud new foster oh, parent of, this cute little baby. Of, a little, of a little fuchsia mill tank with stripes. Woo woo. Black stripes? Yep. Yes. Can I, so when we, off the screen, so during the couple hours that we were together, did I learn about yeah, mill tanks? Yeah, you, and you like, kind of figured out a little bit of what you're getting yourself into. Okay. Uh, when it does come of age to produce milk, you do need to milk it once a day. Okay. What's the average like like, how age quick, of that yeah. for maturity? Uh, about six months. And how old is it now? These ones are about three. Okay, so about three, three months. months to go. So then you do have to learn how to milk it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what she was spending time doing. I was learning. She was spending time around adult milk tanks with the babies to be like, yeah, that was we still love milk. And how quickly do they, uh -uh. they grow? Um, well, Size-wise, yeah. very <laughs> rapidly for the first about year, okay. and then they typically reach their full size. See William and so when, when they first are... <laughs> Like fully matured, that's when we I would need to bring her back. Uh no, no they want Mitch Just and Terry want the they want the mill tanks to be out for like years. a couple years okay. and then come back. Okay. So it's a very long term process, but yeah. that's why they keep records of it. Um, just to be like <laughs> to kind of track them down. If it's been like five years and the mill tanks haven't come back, they'll start tracking them down and go, hey, how's it going? Where's, um, where's our cow? Yes. Bring it back to that's us, please. Terry, I would really like to be able to have um, the mill tank have a collar like Koa. So, have you seen this rock before? Which rock are you pulling? Um, the one that Koa has on him. Oh, okay. Have you seen this before? Mm -hmm. She goes, No, but it's, it's beautiful, but I haven't seen it before. Do you know where I can get something like this made? I, maybe Alluvia. It's kind of, okay. a, kind of a ritzy town. Okay. You might be able to find something like that there. Groovy. Cool. Yeah, let's go. Team member get. Woo -woo. Team member get. Woo -woo. Baby milk tank. tank. Baby yeah, yeah, milk baby milk tank. Milk tank. Baby milk tank. Baby milk tank. Yeah. <laughs> get that milk. Yeah. We gonna be strong as fuck. <laughs> All that calcium. Strong bone. Your bones won't hurt anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no osteoporosis in this group. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's go to... Let's ask them uh, about Stetson Farms. Oh, yeah. We yeah. were learning about the, uh, the Dominus. Do you guys know anything? <laughs> this is just a super foreign thing to us, yeah. so I'm curious. Never seen uh, Mitch goes, yeah, I don't I don't trust that system as far as I can throw it, but I also don't use Pokeballs here at the farm. Oh, okay. Uh, all of our kind of people. All our animals are, are free range. Why don't you like it? It just seems unnatural, as does the Pokeball to me. I, I believe Pokemon should be out. They belong out in the world. Sounds like time. You're my kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Terry, ever been Terry to chimes in and goes, for the record, if you want to put milk tank in a Pokeball, that's, that's your, it's not that's your barrage. Sorry. <laughs> my my Koa co doesn't go in a Pokeball, so milk you tank won't go in. To. Yeah, yeah so, that's a baby. Like, if the, 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 the spiders tank. are attacking, then you can't do anything. 
So yes. today, <laughs> shove it down. And then if it <laughs> bites you and you breathe in it, it just, just bites the mail tank. Oh no, that jacket. Come on, guys. Might be good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess right. I could live in the jacket. Maybe. So uh, does it jacket. come with a Pokeball, though? No. No? Okay, that's fine. And you I can have, use one of yeah, those. Because they, they, they don't use any. Yeah, that's but right. You can but just I use have one of those. So, to Stats and Farms? Oh, are we done asking them questions? To Stats Is that all you wanted to ask them? Uh, Other than the dominance, I think so. so oh, so farms seem pretty. Don't scary. like it. They just make berries and that's it. Yeah, they're actually a, a pillar of the community. Okay. You just don't like the dominus. Just yeah. don't trust it. Okay. It just seems odd. Should we ask them about the chest plate? They seem like legitimate people. Like if they've ever seen it before. Does the dominus system have like a chest plate that the Pokemon also wear with it? Oh, ever those seen? little vests. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they keep them identified. It's kind of like if you were to clock into a job, not that any of you So like a one, uniform? You're all a little. Yeah, it's basically just a uniform. So like, do they have their names on them and stuff? Typically, yeah. His name Helps is Tina. Helps track was, but like, you know, just confirming. Cool. Thank how you. How much is a Tauros hunter? Uh, depends where you want to go. Alluvia. Alluvia? To like the next town. If you want to go to Alluvia, it's a $15 ride. How many of us can per find Toros? Because you're little, probably two. Two okay. Toros. Two a Toro. Oh, okay. Is that where we're going so next? We Is that what three. we decided? You would need yeah, three. So it'd be oh, okay. basically it'd be forty-five dollars to get all of you to Olivia. Got a pile of some people. And we Guess all have uh, what twenty collectively? I have no money. I have twelve. I have seven. PBS 10. 22. So that's 30. I have seven. Or, you're broke. 37. So you're close. You just need to do some math. Yeah, but then we're dead work. ass broke. Yeah, we are. I don't think it's maybe I could walking. I battle uh, Gil and try and get some money that way. But. You could. We could all try and battle him. Stetson Farms! Let's go to the farms. Farm. Let's go to the okay. farms. Okay. As you guys make your way to Stetson Farms, just past probably 4 o'clock in the afternoon, that's where we'll come. Hey! With our heroes rested and recovered in the peaceful Oriander City, a more thorough investigation of the mysterious Stetson Farms awaits.